Chapter 961. Fight. The Han clan should have a reason behind their actions. After all, this match concerns the rest of Han Yu's life. Private conversations around the arena suddenly sounded the moment Xiao Yan appeared. Numerous shocked gazes repeatedly swept over his body. Hong Li's brows were knitted slightly as he looked at the unfamiliar Xiao Yan from the seats of the Hong clan. With his understanding of the Han clan, the other party would definitely not randomly find someone to die for them in this kind of situation. However, if this was not the case, could this young man really contend with Hong Chen? There was an old man wearing gray-colored robes beside Hong Li. The old man had his eyes shut, seemingly ignoring the noise of the outside world. His hands were hidden under his sleeves while his body leaned against the backrest of the chair. There was a green-silver colored badge on his chest. A tower with a faint lightning glow lingering over it was drawn on the badge. The old man opened his shut eyes upon hearing Hong Li's words. He glanced at Xiao Yan before using a hoarse voice to faintly speak, this little fellow is also very strong. I wonder where the Han clan found such a helper. Oh. Will Hong Chen be able to defeat him? Hong Li became a little stern upon hearing this. By being able to get this old fellow to evaluate him like this, it seemed that this young man with an ordinary appearance was really not a scapegoat that the Han clan had sent out. Most of the high-class do techniques of my Wind Lightning Pavilion has been learned by Hong Chang. Moreover, the key method which he practices is also a top key method of my Wind Lightning Pavilion. Forget about those of similar levels. His fighting strength could fight with even experts at the peak of the Du Huang class. There are indeed people of the same generation who could defeat him in the Central Plains. However, such a person has not appeared in Tianbei City. The old man once again slowly shut his eyes upon saying these words. Hong Li's heart sighed in relief after hearing the grey-robed old man speak in this manner. His face revealed a cold smile. He wanted to see just how ugly the expression on Han Qi's face would be after being defeated. Hong Qi's eyes lazily swept over Xiao Yan on the enormous stone arena. He said, tell me your name. Xiao Yan smiled. He ignored this fellow's arrogant words and softly laughed a nameless individual, Xiao Yan, who cannot be compared with the great reputation of young master Hong Chen. Don't pay lip service to this father of yours. I will give you ten breaths time to decide if you wish to get lost by yourself or for me to turn you into a cripple and toss you away. Hong Chen's face turned cold as he cried out. There is no need for ten breaths. Let's just fight. Xiao Yan shook his head. His face was completely harmless. This Hong Chen was indeed as arrogant as the people around had described. Hong Chen's eyes turned gloomy. He stared at Xiao Yan sinisterly and said, since you wish to seek death, do not blame this young master for not showing mercy. Numerous lightning glows suddenly surged from Hong Chen's body the moment his voice sounded. Finally, they transformed into a layer of lightning glow that wrapped around his entire body. Lightning Du Qi Ha. Xiao Yan looked at the deep silver-colored Du Qi that covered Hong Chen. Countless numbers of silver snakes of lightning leaped in all directions. Clearly, this fellow practiced a lightning affinity key method that was known for its powerful offensive strength. Remember my name, Hong Chen. Being defeated by my hands will be your honor. Hong Chen gave a sneer and suddenly stomped down. A lightning bolt the size of an arm shot towards Xiao Yan from the ground, moving like a snake. Xiao Yan raised his head slightly as he looked at the lightning glow that extended over in a snake-like manner. He raised his eyes slightly and his foot gently stepped forward. A flame-like jade green du qi also shot out before colliding with the lightning glow. A sudden muffled sound appeared, and the enormous rock where the collision occurred ended up with half a foot large hole. Just attack. Young Master Hong Chen, do not take little tricks out. Xiao Yan laughed faintly as he spoke. Hey, you are actually even more arrogant than this young master. In that case, we will see if you have the qualification to allow me to use all my strength. Hong Chen's eyes turned cold. A bright silver glow suddenly erupted, and his body appeared in front of Xiao Yan in the blink of an eye in ghost-like manner. A fist with bright lightning light carried a chi chi wind sound as it violently smashed toward Xiao Yan's head. The wild and violent lightning strength that came toward Xiao Yan caused his eyelids to raise. His feet randomly shifted left, and the fist that was covered in a lightning glow narrowly flew past his ear. Hong Chen merely smiled coldly when Xiao Yan dodged his attack. His fist was suddenly spread out, and his five fingers were curled into a strange claw shape. They violently tore toward Xiao Yan's shoulder. The hand claw was suddenly waved down before it stilled. 
one could see that two of Xiao Yan's fingers covered in a dense dew key were piercing the palm of the hand claw like a dagger, completely stopping the force on it. You have some skill. Surprised also surfaced on Hong Chen's face when his attack was stopped. Suddenly he cried out coldly, try the wind lightning pavilion's wind lightning claw. The cry had just sounded when a lightning glow surged on his hand claw. A couple of lightning glows bent in a strange manner before agglomerating into an extremely sharp lightning claw above his finger. Hong Chen cried out furiously when the hand claw was formed. The energy on the hand claw soared and it forced Xiao Yan's fingers back. The hand claw carried an extremely sharp lightning strength as it furiously hacked down. This hacking tore the air apart. A blurry silver-colored hand claw afterimage appeared in the sky. Xiao Yan also felt somewhat surprised in his heart upon sensing the sharpness of the wind claw. His fingers changed swiftly before he suddenly clenched his hand. Immediately, Jade Green Du Qi carrying a thread of flame appeared and violently collided with Hong Chen. Bang! Hong Chen's body was a little dull when this deep sound appeared. He swiftly recovered and a fierceness flashed across his eyes. The two claws suddenly danced and numerous after images appeared in a dazzling manner. The sharp wind from the claws swiftly covered Xiao Yan's entire body. A whistling sound appeared and repeatedly reverberated over the arena. Xiao Yan's expression remained impassive in the face of this wild and violent attack by Hong Chen. His hand was curled and immediately formed a defense in front of his body. With the help of his spiritual perception, the genuine attacks of Hong Chen did not escape Xiao Yan's detection, regardless of how fast the attacking speed was. Hence, each time a claw wind that contained a killing intent headed over, it would be violently sent back by Xiao Yan with a punch. Both parties' claws and fists repeatedly formed numerous afterimages in front of them. This caused the countless number of people watching the stage to exclaim out loud. No one expected that Xiao Yan would be able to remain undefeated after having so many exchanges with Hong Chen. Wind Lightning Kill A serious expression finally surfaced in Hong Chen's eyes after his attacks were blocked many times. The underestimation in his heart was also lessened a little. His claw immediately changed as he let out a furious cry. A faint lightning roar suddenly sounded. The many hand claw afterimages suddenly stilled at this moment before swiftly shrinking back. Within a short period of time, a hand claw covered by a dense lightning claw strangely appeared along with a faint thunder roar. It carried a lightning-like momentum as it violently grabbed at Xiao Yan's heart. From the look of this momentum, it was likely that Xiao Yan's heart would be dug out if he was struck. Xiao Yan exhaled gently before taking a step back. A stern coldness suddenly surged into his dark black eyes. An incomparably powerful Du Qi surged out like floodwaters from within his body in all directions. At this moment, Xiao Yan had completely displayed his seven-star Du Huang strength. The expressions of the countless of people present changed upon sensing the powerful Du Qi that suddenly surged out of Xiao Yan's body. An exclamation resounded like a wave. Du Huang? This person's strength is likely even stronger than Han Yu from the Han clan, right? No wonder. Xiao Yan's clenched his fist tightly as the Duki surged. It paused for a moment before it was instantly thrown out. Octane blast. The strength of the fist suddenly soared by a couple of times while it was still traveling. An ear-piercing sonic boom resounded around the fist. The fist violently collided with Hong Chen's lightning claw amid many shocked eyes. Bang. A low, deep collision sound abruptly appeared. Powerful air ripples surged out from the point of contact. Numerous spiderweb-like cracks also spread on the enormous large rocks around. A human figure suddenly shot past while the crack lines spread. His feet rubbed against the ground and formed an obvious scar that was over a dozen meters long. Everyone's eyes hurriedly looked over, and they involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air. The person who was forced back was actually Hong Chen? A countless number of gazes slide away after lingering on Hong Chen for a moment. All of them paused on the young man who had merely taken two steps back. The shock within their eyes grew even denser. This person had actually gained the upper hand in a head-on collision with Hong Chen? Just what great being was this fellow? Xiao Yan waved his sleeves gently, and his finger pressed on his arm in a lightning-like manner. The finger was flicked, and a wild and violent lightning strength was tossed out of his body. You actually think that this little lightning-hidden force would be able to harm me? Hong Chen, who had stabilized his body, currently possessed an unusually sinister face. He looked at Xiao Yan in a gloomy manner and said, Unexpectedly you are also a seven-star Du Huang. You have hidden quite deeply. No wonder the Han clan has looked for you. 
you do possess the qualification to be my opponent, but the strength that you have displayed is far from sufficient if you wish to beat me. A low, deep roar was suddenly emitted from Hong Chen's throat when his voice sounded. Immediately, a crackling sound appeared from within his body. Countless silver snake-like lightning bolts extended from his bones, wrapping him within a layer of lightning. Being within a lightning web, Hong Chen's aura also swiftly soared. Seeing that you are able to force back this young master, I shall let you take a look at the secret technique of the Wind Lightning Pavilion today. Lightning God Descent. Hong Chen's feet suddenly stomped down, and countless numbers of silver snakes surged out from under his feet. Within a short instant, it permeated the area within a radius of hundreds of feet. Hong Chen, who was within it, appeared like a lightning god. His aura was terrifying. The expressions of everyone in the Han clan changed when they saw that Hong Chen had actually used the lightning god descent. Han Shu and Han Yu also exchanged looks. They were able to see a little worry from the other party's eyes. However, when their gazes looked to Xiao Yan, they merely saw him with his usual calmness. His emotions did not sway even a little because of Hong Chen's transformation. End of chapter. Chapter 962. Lightning God Descent. Hong Chen's entire body was covered in a layer of lightning web. Silver snakes shot in all directions. Perhaps it was because of the secret technique, but his body had also become much stronger. Looking from a distance, he appeared like a silver-colored metal pagoda that was filled with a threatening aura. His aura soared. After continuing for a moment, it finally came to a slow stop. Hong Chen's gaze stared intently at Xiao Yan as he let out a cold laugh. His hand was clenched, and a dark black metal hammer appeared. A lightning glow lingered over the metal hammer. This metal hammer was a treasure of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It was named the Mighty Lightning Hammer. Its body had been created using lightning stones. If a person who practiced a lightning key method used it, that person's do key would experience a strengthening effect. Adding that the lightning stone were naturally heavy, it was filled with strength when one swung it. An ordinary expert would not dare to receive it head on. A stern expression flashed through Hong Chen's eyes as he held the mighty lightning hammer. He randomly swung it a couple of times, and it was accompanied by an ear-piercing sonic boom. The sonic boom was transmitted to the ground and a couple of holes formed in the heart arena. Again. Hong Chen sensed a strength surging within his body, before staring at Xiao Yan with dense cold eyes. He eventually cried out in a cold voice. Xiao Yan frowned slightly upon looking at the completely armed Hong Chen. After using a secret technique, his strength had almost reached that of a nine-star Du Huang. Looking at this, the effects of this secret technique were indeed quite good. Moreover, from their earlier collision, Xiao Yan was able to sense that the key method Hong Chen practiced was definitely a D-class key method. Otherwise, he would not have just taken over a dozen steps back after receiving his octane blast head-on. This person possessed a top-quality key method, Du technique and weapon. His fighting strength was naturally shocking. Given this person's strength it should not be difficult for him to challenge someone above his level. Forget about someone from the same level, it was likely that he could even fight with an expert at the peak of the Du Huang class. No wonder he dared to be this arrogant. If it was someone else from the same generation who met Hong Chen today, it was likely that this person would have difficulty fighting with Hong Chen, unless that person possessed some special trump card. Unfortunately, Xiao Yan was not included in these people from the same generation. Challenging someone above one's level might be difficult matter to some people. However, it was an extremely common thing for Xiao Yan, who had once turned that old ground demon ghost, possessing an unfathomable strength, into a crippled state. Hong Chen might be able to fight across levels, but he was not able to fight across classes. Fighting across levels and fighting across classes might only possess a one-word difference, but they were two completely different concepts. They were also completely two different realms of strength. The gazes all over the place gathered on this battle that was gradually entering its main event. The sudden increase in Han Chen's strength caused quite a number of people to quietly click their tongues. This wind lightning pavilion was indeed worthy of being a faction that could be ranked in the central plains. A secret technique was actually able to allow one to raise one's strength this greatly. While they quietly praised, some gazes were also turned to Xiao Yan. After that scene earlier, there was no longer anyone who dared to underestimate this unfamiliar young man. By being able to force Han Chen until the point where he had to use a secret technique, this fellow was clearly not an ordinary person. It seemed that the victor of this fight between the Hong clan and the Han clan today was really one that was difficult to predict. Just what is the background of this little fellow? 
By being able to reach such a level at such a young age, he should not be some unknown person. Why is it that the name Xiao Yan had never been heard within the northern region of the Central Plains, nor within the entire Central Plains? Hong Li looked at Hong Chen who had used the lightning god descent from the seats of the Hong clan, and involuntarily spoke with a slight frown. The grey-clothed old man by the side shook his head slightly. He similarly felt that the name Xiao Yan was extremely unfamiliar. The Central Plains is incomparably vast with many hidden experts. It is normal not knowing them. There is no need to worry. Since Hong Chen had used the Lightning God Descent, the victor is more or less decided. After all, with his current condition, his Lightning Affinity Key method and the mighty Lightning Hammer, even an expert at the peak of the Du Huang class would find it difficult to defeat him. The grey-clothed old man mused before speaking his thoughts in a faint manner. Hong Li nodded upon hearing this. This little fellow was indeed amazing for being able to force Hong Chen to use the secret technique. However, that was all. Xiao Yan smiled in front of the countless number of gazes. He slowly clenched his hand, and an enormous heavy Shuin ruler appeared. The heavy ruler was inserted into the ground, and its white body appeared just like a dark black shield. Its heavy feeling was something that even Hong Chen's mighty lightning hammer could not compare with. Surprise flashed across Hong Chen's eyes when he saw Xiao Yan draw a heavy ruler as a weapon. The cold smile on the corner of his mouth grew even denser. After having displayed the lightning god descent, his strength had been strengthened quite greatly. If his opponent was the agile type, he would still be faced with some trouble. However, if his opponent also used a heavy type weapon, that person would not possess the ability to retaliate in the face of the dancing mighty lightning hammer. Brat, I shall let you see the Wind Lightning Pavilion Wind Lightning Hammer skill. You should take a detour when you see the members of the Wind Lightning Pavilion in the future. Hong Chen parted his mouth while facing Xiao Yan, revealing his dense teeth. His feet abruptly stomped on the ground, and the sound of a thunderous roar rang out. Immediately, his body shook. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed slightly the moment that Hong Chen's body moved. He was only too familiar with this scene. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into an arc. His hand grabbed the heavy ruler tightly and violently swung it to his back without turning his head around. The heavy ruler carried a powerful pressurizing wind, while the sound of a sonic boom repeatedly resounded around the ruler. When the ruler had just reached Xiao Yan's back, an enormous dark black hammer suddenly appeared before being blocked by the ruler. Clang! The heavy ruler collided with the enormous hammer, and a metallic sound resounded over the entire arena. Both Xiao Yan and Hong Chen swiftly pulled away and formed a safe distance between them in a lightning-like manner. Good brat, you are actually able to see through the afterimages of my 3000 lightning movement. Hong Chen stabilized his body and glanced at the disappearing afterimage in the distance. His heart was involuntarily a little surprised. When Xiao Yan waved his heavy ruler earlier, it seemed that Xiao Yan had a great understanding of Hong Chen's position. The ruler did not hesitate when it was swung, forcing Hong Chen to reveal himself. Looks like I need to finish this fellow off quickly. There is a time limit to the lightning god descent. At that time, my body will enter a weary period. The thought flashed across Hong Chen's heart, while some killing intent flashed across his eyes. His body moved and a thunderous sound once again appeared. His body transformed into a lightning bolt that crossed the dozens of meters distance in a lightning-like manner. With a leap, his body appeared above Xiao Yan's head. Thousand shattering lightning hammer. Chi. Chi. A glaring lightning glow repeatedly erupted from the mighty lightning hammer. Looking from a distance, that Hong Chen appeared to have lifted an enormous lightning high in the sky. Its aura was shocking. The enormous lightning paused for an instant before it was like a thunderbolt that descended from the clouds, violently striking toward Xiao Yan's head. That instantaneous powerful glow had basically overshadowed the sun in the sky. Six joint body flowing ruler. Xiao Yan's eyes solidified slightly as he sensed a frightening lightning that shot down explosively from all directions. The heavy ruler in his hand danced in a lightning-like manner as numerous ruler's images followed a profound path and swiftly transformed into ruler shadows, which wind could not even penetrate. Some jade green flames quietly rose in the defense of the ruler's shadow. Bang! The ruler's shadow defense had just been formed when the enormous lightning hammer came smashing down after which, it violently crushed the ruler's shadow. Immediately, countless number of ruler's shadow scattered. However, the ruler's shadow had just disappeared when a densely packed unending amount of ruler's shadows swiftly replaced them. Following the repeated appearance of this ruler's shadow, the enormous lightning hammer also became a little illusionary. 
The great amount of lightning strength on it was swiftly being dispelled. Thousand shattering lightning hammer, shatter. Hong Chen's expression sank a little as he sensed the great defensive strength of Xiao Yan's ruler's shadows. He immediately let out a furious cry, and the lightning hammer in his hand shot out. His body swiftly pulled back. Boom. The lightning hammer exploded almost instantaneously the moment it left Hong Chen's hand. Innumerable amounts of lightning strength smashed into the ruler's shadow defense from all directions. The ruler's shadow defense swiftly became thinner under this extremely closely packed attack. It was no longer able to replenish itself in time. Ha ha, I will see just how you will dispel the special wind lightning strength of my wind lightning pavilion. Hong Chen's body turned around and landed on the ground. After which, he looked at Xiao Yan, who was surrounded by the silver-colored wind lightning strength, before laughing out loud. Humph, just what is there to be arrogant about, a mere wind lightning strength? A cold laugh was transmitted from the lightning web, just after Hong Chen's laughter sounded. Immediately, a jade green flame erupted in a sudden manner. Under this flame, that wind lightning strength seemed to have met its nemesis as it was swiftly vaporized by the high temperature into nothingness. After an instant, the lightning web that contained a wild and violent strength completely scattered in front of many stunned gazes. This is a heavenly flame? While the flame was surging, the gray-clothed old man on the Hong clan's seat suddenly opened his eyes and exclaimed. A human figure which was completely wrapped in a jade-green flame slowly walked forward in the arena below, in front of a countless number of gazes. One could even vaguely see that skinny figure within it. Are these your tactics? I really overestimated you. The flame churned repeatedly on Xiao Yan's body as a feigned voice was slowly emitted. Hong Chen's expression immediately turned ugly upon hearing this. He tightened his grip on the mighty lightning hammer in his hand. Finally, he understood just how troublesome his opponent was this time around. He could not even imagine that he had failed to defeat his opponent after displaying the lightning god descend. If you only have these tactics, it will be my turn next. A cold smile was lifted on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth as he stood within the flame. His seal suddenly changed as a low cry resounded in his heart. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. Glazed Change. When that cry sounded, the flame that covered the surface of Xiao Yan's body immediately began to writhe intensely. Finally, it completely shrank into his body. At the same time, his aura also began to swiftly rise like Hong Chen's from earlier. Within a short instance, it surpassed his aura. A stunned expression swiftly climbed onto the faces of everyone present almost instantaneously. A startled look flashed across the eyes of that gray clothed old man in the seats of the Hong clan. He muttered, just where did this little fellow come from? He actually hides so deep. This time around, it is likely that things will be a little disadvantageous for Hong Chen. End of chapter. Chapter 963. Exterminating Lightning Hammer. Only when the last jade green flame shrink into Xiao Yan's body did the soaring aura finally come to a slow stop. Not even the slightest Du Qi seeped from the surface of Xiao Yan's body. However, an invisible pressure swiftly spread out with Xiao Yan in the middle. This pressurizing feeling was far stronger than Hong Chen's after he had used the Lightning God Descent. If Hong Chen was currently at the level of a 9-star Du Huang, Xiao Yan should truly be at the peak of the Du Huang class. He was merely just one step away from the Du Zong class. What a powerful secret technique. This increase in strength is something that even the Lightning God Descent of the Wind Lightning Pavilion could not be compared with. Kiki, looks like Shuer has really invited quite an incredible being. Han Chi looked at Xiao Yan, whose aura was vaguely similar to his, from the Han clan's seats. Surprise involuntarily surfaced on his face as he smiled and spoke to himself. When he was in the inner academy back then, he had dared to intervene in a battle between Du Hongs when he was still an ordinary Da Du Shi. Now that a couple of years have passed, his achievements would naturally be even more terrifying. Although Hong Chen is a genius, he is inferior in front of Xiao Yan. Han Yu smiled sweetly as she explained. She also rejoiced upon seeing Xiao Yan getting the upper hand. After all, this was related to her marriage. It would be a Li if she said she was not nervous. Han Shu by the side also softly laughed when she heard what Han Qi had said. Her pretty eyes stared at the linen-clothed young man in the arena. Those clothes that were usually extremely ordinary looking gave her a feeling of a special yet ordinary vigor when they were worn by him. It was just like a peerless sword that was hidden within an ordinary scabbard, emitting a sharp sword aura that caused one to be afraid. The young man currently in the arena was undoubtedly the most dazzling existence on the Sky Stone stage. 
Xiao Yan let in a long breath as he sensed the surging strength within his body. Borrowing the effects of the secret technique, he had already reached the peak of the Du Huang class. During this instant, he seemed to have vaguely sensed a non-existent film layer. This film layer did not appear to exist. However, regardless of how the strength in his body climbed, he ultimately had difficulty touching it. There was no need to even discuss breaking through it. This. Could this be the barrier to break through to the Du Zong class? Xiao Yan thought deeply while he muttered to himself in a soft voice. After the brief experiment, he was vaguely aware that the Du Qi needed to break through to the Du Zong class would definitely be an extremely frightening amount. Even though he was currently at the peak of the Du Huang class, there was still an extremely great distance to that stage. This small step was something that many experts were unable to leap past during their lives. One could imagine the difficulty involved. If I am in possession of the last two changes of the Skyfire Mysterious change at this moment and use them in collaboration with the Heavenly Flame, would I be able to break through that barrier? Xiao Yan's eyes flickered while his heart felt a little boiling hot. This method might really be of some use. If he had the time in the future, he might be able to give it a try. Xiao Yan swiftly pulled his mind back to reality as this thought flashed through his heart. He slowly raised his head and smiled at the solemn-faced Hong Chen on the opposite side. His hand immediately held his heavy ruler tightly as his foot stepped forward. With a step, he had nearly flashed over hundreds of feet. Hong Chen's expression also changed slightly the instant Xiao Yan stepped forward. Silver-colored lightning hurriedly surfaced under his feet. Immediately, his body shook. Chi. A dark black heavy ruler suddenly appeared above Hong Chen's head. It ruthlessly smashed against his head. However, no blood was seen splattering. Instead, the ruler passed through the figure. 3000 lightning movement, huh? Xiao Yan laughed coldly in his heart after his body reappeared. His feet suddenly shifted by over a dozen steps in a strange manner. The heavy ruler was just like a long lance that pierced straight toward a certain space in front. Clang. A dark black metal hammer hurriedly appeared from the empty space when the heavy ruler was pierced out. The hammer collided heavily with the ruler. Immediately, one could see a figure appearing. Hong Chen's feet stomped on the ground as he hurriedly pulled back by over 10 steps. Only then did he stabilize his body. Why does the 3000 lightning movement not have any effect on him? Shock flashed across Hong Chen's face after his position was once again easily identified by Xiao Yan. His hand, which was holding the mighty lightning ruler, trembled slightly. That fierce attack by Xiao Yan earlier had nearly turned his entire arm numb. After having used the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, Xiao Yan's strength had clearly become even stronger than Hong Chen's. The cold smile on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth widened after forcing Hong Chen back with a swing of his ruler. He took repeated steps, each of them 10 meters in distance. In the blink of an eye, he once again caught up with Hong Chen. His arm trembled and numerous ruler shadows repeatedly appeared. Finally, they appeared to have transformed into enormous great waves that came one after another as they violently smashed onto Hong Chen. Faced with this sudden wild, violent attack by Xiao Yan, Hong Chen had become miserable looking. The mighty lightning hammer in his hand danced repeatedly as it carried a faint wind lightning sound and viciously swung toward the ruler's shadows that covered Xiao Yan. Clang. Kang. Clang. Two human figures flashed repeatedly on the arena. The speed of the two was extremely great. An ordinary person was only able to hear the repeated sounds of weapons clashing and the sparks that erupted from them. Only those people with sharp eyes were able to find the bodies of the two people. At this moment, the situation in the arena was one where Hong Chen had gradually fallen into a disadvantage after Xiao Yan had used the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. His Du Qi was not as powerful as Xiao Yan's. When comparing agility, Xiao Yan was able to rely on his spiritual perception to identify the position of Hong Chen at any time. If it was in terms of physical strength, Xiao Yan's body was far stronger than Hong Chen after having been refined by many natural treasures and the heavenly flames. How could Hong Chen fight with Xiao Yan in this situation, where he was always at a disadvantage? Any sharp-eyed people could tell that the chances of Hong Chen winning in this kind of situation were already beginning to sharply decline. The people from the Han and Hong clan were naturally among those who could sense such a situation. The Han clan members were revealing a dense smile, while the Hong clan members were becoming gloomy. They had full confidence in Hong Chen. This confidence originated from his performance over the years and ability. 
however, they had never imagined that the Han clan would find an expert who could really contend with Hong Chen or was even stronger than him. This had caught them by surprise. Kiang. The heavy ruler and the metal hammer once again violently collided. Xiao Yan's eyes turned slightly cold. His arm was like a snake as it was twisted in a strange fashion before suddenly appearing in front of Hong Chen. Xiao Yan's palm smashed down and struck Hong Chen's chest in a lightning-like manner. Grug. A powerful force immediately swept over Hong Li's body like floodwater as the palm fell. His face turned white and a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. His body suddenly shot backwards, dragging over the ground and forming a scar that was over a dozen meters in length. Only then did his body slowly stop. The sudden change in the arena also caused an exclamation to break out all around them. It was the first time that a person had really spit out blood and become injured since both parties had begun to fight. Moreover, the shock on their faces became even denser when they saw that the person who had been forced back after being injured was Hong Chen. With the battle having continued until such a stage, some people who had observed carefully had discovered that Hong Chen had not even touched Xiao Yan's clothes since the beginning. Yet, Hong Chen had already ended up in an exceptionally miserable state. Xiao Yan raised his eyes slightly after forcing Hong Chen back with a palm. He glanced at Hong Chen on the ground in the distance and faintly said, stand up, that palm won't take your life. Pa. Hong Chen's face was dark and cold. His eyes were filled with a ferociousness. A mouthful of fresh blood that was mixed with his saliva was spat out before he slowly climbed up. Sinister words were emitted from his mouth, you are the first from the same generation who has forced me into such a state. Hong Chen rubbed the blood trace from the corner of his mouth. He raised his head and revealed a pair of savage eyes that seemed to belong to an injured wild beast. He violently bit his tongue and a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. It was scattered onto the mighty lightning hammer. When the fresh blood made contact with the hammer, a bloody stench immediately began to spread over the mighty lightning hammer. Hong Chen inhaled a deep breath of air while his hand held the mighty lightning hammer. A roar was immediately emitted from his mouth as violent lightning affinity Duki surged out of his body in a cackling manner, appearing just like lightning. Finally, it completely gathered on the mighty lightning hammer in his hand. With the gathering of an increasing amount of lightning du qi, the blood trace on the mighty lightning hammer also scattered. It merged with the lightning du qi, causing the wild and violent strength within it to soar by many times. Looking at Hong Chen's actions in the arena, the expressions of those in the Hong clan changed slightly. The gray-clothed old man also sighed softly as he said, he has actually forced Hong Chen to use the du skill that was personally taught to him by the pavilion leader of our northern pavilion. This Xiao Yan is indeed very strong. It is likely that there's hardly anyone among the same generation of the Wind Lightning Pavilion who could compete with him. Unless. The gray-clothed old man shook slightly when his words reached this point. Immediately, he muttered, unless Miss Feng is the one fighting. Hong Li's body immediately stiffened when he heard this. His suppressed voice spoke with shock, Miss Feng? Old Yuan, are you referring to that Miss Feng who was the only one in the Wind Lightning Pavilion within the last hundred years who had passed through the Sky Lightning Tower test? The gray-clothed bold man nodded indifferently. He did not say anything else as his eyes looked at the arena. The Duki within Hong Chen's body in the arena was completely poured into the mighty lightning hammer. A lightning glow that was over a hundred feet in size lingered over him, wrapping his entire body within it. Exterminating lightning hammer. The hoarse voice was suddenly emitted from within the lightning glow. Immediately, the mighty lightning hammer in Hong Chen's hand appeared like an enormous sky lightning that violently smashed into the ground. At that instant, the entire sky stone stage began to shake in an intense manner. Ow! The mighty lightning hammer smashed heavily onto the ground. Enormous cracks repeatedly spread out. Immediately. The lightning glow that was over a hundred feet in size transformed into a savage lightning beast that shook the ground and formed many cracks the moment its four limbs landed on the ground. After taking a couple of steps in this manner, it appeared above Xiao Yan's head like lightning. A soul-stirring roar sounded and its claw, which was agglomerated from lightning, violently smashed toward Xiao Yan's head. Space became distorted with this attack. Threads of dark black spatial lines had even vaguely appeared. This force was indeed terrifying. Faced with this savage lightning beast's frightening speed and attack, Xiao Yan also felt a little surprised in his heart. A silver glow suddenly appeared under his feet. Immediately, his body let out a shoe sound, 
transforming into numerous afterimages as he withdrew, easily dodging the lightning beast's lightning-like attack. However, Xiao Yan appeared to have thought of something after having withdrawn for a short distance. He suddenly stopped his body while his heart cried out this is bad. The instant Xiao Yan's body stopped, the gray-clothed old man in the Hong clan's seat suddenly widened his eyes. He immediately stood up in shock. His clothes moved in the absence of the wind as his gaze stared intently at Xiao Yan. Each of his words was spoke with a pause, 3000 lightning movement. End of chapter. Chapter 964. Unexpected change. Xiao Yan had habitually revealed the 3000 lightning movement, which he had kept hidden, and successfully dodged the attack of this lightning beast. However, his body had just paused when the lightning beast sensed something. It raised its head to the sky and cried out furious. All four of its legs violently stomped on the ground. The crack lines spread and its body once again transformed into lightning that shot toward Xiao Yan. Humph. A cold expression flashed across Xiao Yan's face after meeting this lightning beast a couple of times. It was likely that this skill was Hong Chen's killing move. Its strength was indeed quite great. It was likely a D-class Du skill. However, it seemed to require essence blood to activate. Thus, once this skill was used, he would descend into a weary state. In other words, the current Hong Chen was no longer in possession of fighting strength. As long as Xiao Yan was able to settle this lightning beast that was transformed from the lightning Du Qi in Hong Chen's body, this battle would end with the Hong clan losing. Xiao Yan swiftly took a couple of steps back. His hands swiftly formed some seals as numerous afterimages flew, causing one's eyes to be dazzled. Following the formation of his hand seal, a wave of jade green crystal glows swiftly surged from his hand. The hand seal was moved while the wild beats in front attacked once again. It was even accompanied by a little lightning roar. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. His footsteps withdrew once again, and his mouth was also swiftly pulsing. In the end, he became like a toad as he suddenly opened his mouth. Immediately, a soul-stirring lion tiger roar charged up to the sky. Lion tiger gold shattering roar. The sudden substance-like sonic wave was spread out from Xiao Yan's mouth quickly. In the face of a head-on collision with the sonic wave, the lightning beast's body that was viciously pouncing over paused immediately. The thunderbolts all over its body were flashing wildly like electricity. Its four limbs also rubbed against the ground as it was forced back dozens of meters before finally managing to completely block the strength of the sonic wave. The strength from the sonic wave had just scattered when the lightning beast enormous eyes flickered. A low roar was emitted as it raised its forelimbs. Its enormous body pounced forward like a hungry tiger that had found its prey, and it leaped dozens of meters forward before appearing above Xiao Yan's head. Its savage mouth, covered in a lightning glow, viciously bit toward Xiao Yan's head. Xiao Yan did not withdraw again in the face of the wild bite from the lightning beast. The rate at which his hands formed the seal became faster. An instant later, they suddenly paused and the bright jade green crystal glow swiftly agglomerated into a mysterious energy handprint. This jade green energy handprint was only the size of a palm. Its entire body was emitting a crystal luster, looking as though it was being manufactured by a green-colored crystal, which gave it an exquisite appearance. Not only was its appearance beautiful, but the energy that was contained within it was quite frightening. While the handprint was formed, the dark figure above Xiao Yan's head had also swiftly arrived. A cold smile surfaced on his face as he raised his head and looked at the enormous mouth of the lightning glow. His body dodged and his arm curled in a strange manner before pressing into the lightning beast's head. See, flipping seal. The lightning beast immediately unleashed a frightening roar when the two met. Crackling lightning arcs leaped all over its body. However, these lightning glows swiftly disappeared in a strange manner when they made contact with the jade green crystal light. Smash. A chill flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as his mouth suddenly emitted a low cry. His hand shook violently, and the strength of the light seal suddenly erupted. The bright jade green glow was just like a sun that had exploded at this moment. The strength of the light covered the wild and violent lightning glow on the body of the lightning beast. Under the erosion of this majestic energy, the arrogant lightning beast emitted a sobbing whine. In the end, it turned into a silver-colored light spot with a boom sound and burst apart in front of numerous shocked eyes. The light seal had also swiftly disappeared the moment the lightning beast burst apart. Xiao Yan's eyes were cold as he glanced at the shocked face of Hong Chen in the distance. He tightened his hand, and the heavy ruler once again appeared. His feet stepped on the ground and his body instantaneously disappeared. 
Hong Chen's expression changed the moment he saw Xiao Yan's body disappear. He looked at the mighty lightning hammer beside him, and his hand hurriedly extended out. Before his hand could make contact with the hammer, however, a fierce wind viciously smashed into his body. The fierce force shook his body until it was dragged over the ground, forming a scar that was dozens of meters long. Grug. Hong Chen spat out a mouthful of fresh blood after suffering a heavy blow once again. Before he could get up, the black figure came attacking again. Finally, it carried the momentum of a lightning bolt as it ruthlessly came slamming onto Hong Chen's head. I admit defeat. Hong Chen's eyes shrank as he hurriedly cried out when he saw the enormous body of the ruler appearing. Chi. The heavy ruler came to a sudden stop when it was still half a foot from Hong Chen's head. The force that was contained in it was transmitted down through the air and slammed Hong Chen's entire body into the ground. Hong Chen appeared like a toad that had been flattened. His entire body appeared extremely miserable. At this moment, Xiao Yan was holding the ruler with one hand. The enormous ruler's body paused above Hong Chen's head while his entire body was pressed into the ground. This scene caused the entire Sky Stone stage to become dead quiet. No one had expected such an ending. At the beginning, no one had thought that this renowned young genius of the Tianbei city would be defeated in such a terrible and miserable manner by an unfamiliar-looking young man. The fight had lasted for a period of time, but anyone with truly great eyesight would have been able to discover that Hong Chen had used all of his strength while the linen-clothed young man appeared like a rippleless old well since the beginning. He seemed like bottomless water that was unfathomable, making it difficult for others to predict anything. He has really won. Everyone from the Han clan and the Han clan's seats looked at Hong Chen in the arena, who was forced by Xiao Yan's heavy ruler until he dared not even move. They inhaled a deep breath of air and muttered in a manner that suggested they did not quite dare to believe the situation. Although I had already thought highly of him, it seems that I have still underestimated him. This young man is indeed incredible. Han Chi softly exhaled as he sighed. The two happiest people were Han Yu and Han Xu. Han Yu sighed in relief, appearing as though she had removed a heavy burden, while Han Xu was inexplicably happy. The skinny figure in the arena had unknowingly left behind an unforgettable imprint within her heart. Clap clap. The Sky Stone stage was quiet for a moment before the silence was gradually broken by a wave of applause and cheers. The exciting battle between the younger generation had caused them to feel that their trip was worthwhile. This was especially the case for the linen-clothed young man who had left them with an extremely deep impression. The expressions of the people from the Hong clan were unusually ugly amid the cheers of the entire place. Originally, they had thought that they had trapped the Han clan, but they ended up trapping themselves. They had lost all their face today. Xiao Yan slowly retracted his heavy Shuin ruler while standing in the arena. He lowered his head, glanced at Hong Chen before turning around to leave. Xiao Yan's body had just turned around when a savage and vicious expression flashed across Hong Chen's eyes while he lay on the ground. Both of his hands pressed on the ground and a lightning hidden arrow shot out of his sleeves and pierced toward Xiao Yan's back. The sudden unexpected change had immediately caused a countless number of people to let out an exclamation. Immediately, curses sounded. Xiao Yan had let Hong Chen live, yet the latter had actually dared to perform such a despicable and cowardly act. Qi. The lightning hit an arrow accurately struck Xiao Yan's back in front of many shocked gazes before penetrating it. However, not even a little trace of blood appeared as a result. Instead, it caused the figure to gradually become blurry. After image? Hong Chen's heart was immediately shocked upon seeing this scene. He hurriedly pulled back. However, his feet had just stepped back when his body suddenly stiffened. A hand had unknowingly been placed on a spot behind him. Stop. Numerous furious roars were immediately emitted from the Hong clan's seats when they saw Xiao Yan suddenly appearing behind Hong Chen. The gray-clothed old man immediately moved, transforming into a blurry figure that shot toward the arena. You have given this life of yours away. Don't blame anyone but yourself. A soft voice was transmitted into Hong Chen's ear while a terrifying chill was spreading from Hong Chen's heart. Before he could beg for mercy, a force had already been ruthlessly shot into his back. Grug. A mouthful of fresh blood was wildly spat out, and Hong Chen's body feebly fell. Finally, his head smashed onto the ground. Xiao Yan unleashed a breath and kicked out at the same time, sending Hong Chen's body flying toward a force that was shot over. The gray-clothed old man who was rushing over was just about to attack when he saw Hong Chen shooting toward him. He immediately waved his sleeve, and the force was reduced. His hand grabbed Hong Chen and hurriedly observed him. 
Immediately, the man's expression turned gloomy. Hong Chen did indeed still have a trace of breath remaining. However, the veins in his body had been completely broken by Xiao Yan's palm. In other words, even if Hong Chen was healed, it was likely that he would be a cripple. The gray-clothed bold man's gaze was sinister as he turned to Xiao Yan. In his extreme anger, he ended up laughing, good, good. You actually dared to kill someone from my wind lightning pavilion. Brat, you will definitely regret it. The old man swung his sleeves after his words sounded. The wind wrapped around the unconscious Hong Chen before throwing him toward Hong Li's group who was following close behind. Hong Li received Hong Chen only for his expression to turn green immediately. His gaze was filled with a vicious expression as he looked at Xiao Yan. Regardless of who you are, my Hong clan will not rest until you die. Hong Li's vicious voice caused the noisy sky stone stage to gradually become quiet. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of these vicious words of Hong Li. He replied with a feigned voice, according to what clan head Hong has said, it is my fault for retaliating when he launched a sneak attack against me. You should also know that if I had not been quick to dodge earlier, my ending would not have been any better than his. The old me doesn't care about this. You have beaten my son into a cripple. I will use your life as repayment. Hong Li spoke in a savage manner. Xiao Yan coldly laughed. There is no need for you to say anything more. Today, you will not be able to escape. The gray-clothed old man's gaze coldly looked at Xiao Yan as he slowly said. Before this, however, you must tell the old me just where you have learned the 3000 lightning movement from. The wind lightning pavilion definitely does not have a disciple like you. Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly. Had it indeed been recognized, but so what if it had? End of chapter. Chapter 965. Not qualified. The unexpected change that had occurred in the arena caused the Sky Stone stage to become a lot quieter. Everyone looked at one another, feeling uncertain about what had happened. From the way they saw it, Hong Chen deserved to be seriously injured. After all, the other party had let him off, but he had actually launched a sneak attack. Such an ending was something that he deserved. Of course, due to the strength of the Hong clan and Yanbei city, no one dared to voice the thoughts within their hearts. Hong Li, what are all of you doing? Other people might not say anything, but the Han clan definitely needed to step forward. Immediately a group of human figures rushed down from the tall platform before finally entering the arena and appearing beside Xiao Yan. Hong Li, Hong Chen has already been defeated in this match today. Does the Hong clan wish to eat their words? Han Chi furiously stared at Hong Li and coldly cried out, the Sky Stone stage is the natural fighting ring of the Tianbei city. One's life and death is up to fate when one fights in this place. Don't tell me that your Hong clan is unaware of the rules? Hong Li's face twitched a little upon being reprimanded by Han Chi. The fierceness in his eyes surged as he furiously laughed, the old me doesn't care. This brat has hurt my son. The Hong clan will definitely not just let things be. Does your Han clan wish to start a war with my Hong clan because of an outsider? Han Chi's face turned gloomy. His gaze stared at Hong Li as his cold voice firmly resounded above the arena, Xiao Yan is someone the Han clan has invited. If we abandon him after he lent our Han clan a hand, who else would dare help our Han clan in the future? Even if you wish to use war as a threat, I shall clearly state that the Han clan will protect Xiao Yan. The Han clan had to step forward even if they needed to start a war with the Hong clan for an outsider, regardless of the benefits or losses in doing so. If they were to shrink back at this moment, the reputation of the Han clan would become terrible. In the future, they could forget about surviving in that Yanbei city. Han Chi clearly understood this point. Hence, his words were extremely stern when he spoke them. There was not the least bit of hesitation. These words of Han Chi were not without any effect. At the very least waves after waves of cheers sounded from around the Sky Stone stage after these words were uttered. Seeing that Han Chi was determined to oppose him, the expression of Hong Li immediately became extremely ugly. Although the words he spoke were a little vicious, their Han clan did not stand on the righteous side in the matter today. However, it was also impossible if he was asked to swallow this foul taste of Hong Chen being crippled for no reason. Hong Chen had always been seen as the rising star of their Hong clan. The clan had put in an enormous amount of effort to groom him. However, Hong Chen had been completely crippled by Xiao Yan. How could his fury be extinguished? The Han clan does have some courage. A faint old voice suddenly sounded while Hong Li's expression changed. Everyone followed the voice and looked over, only to see the gray-clothed old man. 
Han Chi's eyes swept over the gray-clothed old man. His expression changed slightly after pausing on the badge on the other party's chest. Someone from the Wind Lightning Pavilion? Everyone knew that the Wind Lightning Pavilion was incomparably strong and was unreasonable in their actions. The people there were were also terribly arrogant, causing others to involuntarily feel worried. May I know old sir's name? Han Chi cupped his hands together and courteously asked. Even though the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion was merely one of the four pavilions, it was still much stronger than their Han clan. Hence, Han Chi was naturally afraid of slighting the other party. The old me is Chen Yun from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. The gray-clothed old man raised his eyes. His voice still remained impassive. Chen Yun? Doesn't that name belong to one of the four great elders of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion, Elder Yun? Han Chi's heart tightened upon hearing this name as he anxiously asked. You are indeed worthy of being the Han clan by having quite a great understanding of my Wind Lightning Pavilion. The gray-clothed old man smiled faintly as he replied. Old Chen must be joking. The four great elders, Feng, Yun, Lei, Dian are all renowned within the northern region of the Central Plains. How could this younger generation not know about them? Han Chi cupped his hands and smiled. Immediately, he probingly said, Old Chen, Xiao Yan has indeed been a little too heavy-handed in the matter today. However, the blades and spears don't have eyes when one fights. Injuries and deaths are common. The gray-clothed old man waved his hand and interrupted Han Chi's words. He glanced at Xiao Yan, whose expression ultimately did not show much changes before slowly speaking, the grand elder of the Han clan, and I can be considered to have been acquaintances back then. I shall not make things difficult for you. I can indeed temporarily put the matter of Hong Chen being injured aside. However, before this, this person must honestly account to the old me just where the 3000 lightning movement that he practices originated from. Chen Yun's face suddenly became much darker and colder when he spoke until the end. The 3000 lightning movement had a special meaning to the wind lightning pavilion. Not only was it one of the top agility techniques in the wind lightning pavilion, but only by mastering the 3000 lightning movement until the highest level would one possess the qualification to practice the wind lightning pavilion's most guarded skill. 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body the reason that the Wind Lightning Pavilion possessed its current position on the Central Plains today was related to this 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. However, the difficulty of practicing this was extremely high. One of the requirements was that one needed to master the 3000 Lightning Movement until the highest level. During these years, there had been few people within the entire Wind Lightning Pavilion who had successfully mastered it. One could describe the 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body as the evolved form of the 3000 Lightning Movement. Hence, this agility do skill was guarded very tightly by the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Unless one was a core disciple, one would not have the qualification to practice it. Now, however, this old fellow had suddenly seen this agility do skill being displayed by Xiao Yan. No wonder he would be so affected by it. The expressions of Han Qi's group changed when they heard Chen Yun's words. Their shocked gazes looked to Xiao Yan. Clearly, they also felt extremely surprised that Xiao Yan was actually in possession of the Wind Lightning Pavilion's ultimate skill. The 3000 Lightning Movement is only something that I obtained by chance. I would like to ask Elder Chen. If you were to suddenly obtain a D-class agility do skill, would you abandon it or would you practice it yourself? Xiao Yan raised his eyes, looked at the gray-clothed old man, and spoke in an indifferent manner. Obtained by chance? Chen Yun laughed coldly. He said, 10 years ago, my Wind Lightning Pavilion's book collection hall was broken into by someone who ended up stealing quite a number of key methods and do skills. Among them was the 3000 Lightning Movement. I think that you should have some relationship with that person, wouldn't you? If you wish to trump up the charges, there is no need to worry about the pretext of doing so. I do not have the blessing to enjoy this great charge of Elder Chen. Don't tell me that the people of the Wind Lightning Pavilion all act like this? Xiao Yan only laughed coldly in the face of the charges of this old fellow. Brat, shut your mouth. Do you think that the Wind Lightning Pavilion is something that the little you can insult? Moreover, you actually dare to act so presumptuous in front of Elder Chen? Looks like you really look down on his elderly self. Hong Li stepped forward and furiously yelled. Han Chi frowned slightly upon hearing these words. He quietly scolded Shameless in his heart. By saying these words, this fellow was clearly intending to place Xiao Yan in front of Chen Yun and get Chen Yun to act. Thus, the Hong clan would have taken revenge and would not be badmouthed by others. While Han Qi was quietly scolding in his heart, his sleeve was suddenly pulled down. 
He turned his head, only to see the pretty face of Han Shu begging him. A low voice was transmitted into his ears, Father, you must help him. Han Chi laughed bitterly and sighed. This girl. Old Chen. This matter is likely just a misunderstanding. If we discuss it properly, we should be able to resolve it. Why must we meet with swords drawn? Han Chi cupped his hands toward Chen Yun and spoke courteously. This matter has nothing to do with your Han clan. The 3000 lightning movement is one of the secret skills that cannot be spread to any outsider. Hence, this matter cannot simply be put aside. Chen Yun coldly glanced at Han Chi. His gaze immediately slid to Xiao Yan as he coldly spoke, you have two choices. 1. Return with me to the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion and allow the pavilion head to decide how to deal with you. 2. The old me will kill you on the spot. No matter what, the 3000 lightning movement must not land in the hands of an outsider. The people from the Hong clan quietly laughed in a cold voice upon hearing the words of Chen Yun that left no room for argument. The faces of Han Chi's group had turned extremely ugly instead. Han Shu's pretty face had suddenly become a lot paler. Old Chen. Han Chi opened his mouth with the intention of saying something more. Han Chi, the old me only allowed you to speak so much on account of the Grand Elder of the Han clan. Do not fail to appreciate kindness. This matter is not something that you can meddle in. If you really wish to do so, your Han clan will likely be unable to endure the fury of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Chen Yun coldly cried out. Han Chi's expression changed slightly upon hearing Yun Chen's cold cry. The strength of the Han clan and the Wind Lightning Pavilion was too far apart. If the other party intended on destroying them, it would only require an intention. Uncle Han, this matter has nothing to do with all of you. Do not continue to meddle. A laugh was transmitted over while Han Chi was struggling in his heart. This caused the his heart to shake. He raised his head, only to see Xiao Yan's smiling face. Xiao Yan. Sorry. Han Chi's fist was slightly tightened as he sighed. He was the clan head of the Han clan. He was responsible to the Han clan for each and every single action. These words of Xiao Yan had clearly indicated that he did not wish for the Han clan to be implicated in this matter. Xiao Yan smiled. He did not blame Han Chi. The strength of the Wind Lightning Pavilion was extremely great. It was fine for Xiao Yan who was by himself. At the very most, he could just flee. The Central Plains was huge. How would the Wind Lightning Pavilion be able to do as it pleased? However, if he were to get the Han clan involved, the Han clan would become his burden. Hence, Xiao Yan was still extremely calm in his heart. Actually, when it came to this level of his, all of this no longer matter. The so-called laughing at the situation was describing this principle. Hey, it is unexpected that you still have some loyalty. Chen Yun coldly laughed. His shriveled hand was slowly extended from his sleeves as he faintly said, since that is the case, are you planning to follow me back to the Wind Lightning Pavilion, or do you wish for the old me to act and cripple you? Xiao Yan suddenly laughed as he looked at the indifferent face of Chen Yun. He shook his head, I am not interested in the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Hence, I will not go. Chen Yun nodded. The killing intent in his eyes soared. In that case, you are choosing the second route. Xiao Yan slowly raised his head. Pride flashed across his young and handsome face as he parted his mouth and smiled. As for crippling me. Honestly speaking, you are still not qualified to do so with your strength, which has not reached that of a five-star Du Zong. End of chapter. Chapter 966. Demon Puppet Revealed. Xiao Yan's words caused the entire arena to become stunned. Although his performance earlier was extremely shocking, it seemed that it was far from sufficient for him to rely on that strength to speak to an elite peak four-star Du Zong in this manner. Actually, no one could be blamed for thinking like this. With Xiao Yan's current age, most people would feel that it was a little ridiculous to believe that he could defeat a Wind Lightning Pavilion elder who had long become renowned. Moreover, Xiao Yan had also stolen the secret skill of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. The Wind Lightning Pavilion would not let him off no matter what. Most of the people present were merely adopting a mentality of watching a show play out in front of them. Cold smiles were lifted on the faces of those from the Hong clan. From the way they saw it, Xiao Yan was completely seeking death by contradicting Chen Yun in this manner. Han Chi also laughed bitterly in his heart as he let out a sigh. He did not know why the extremely calm Xiao Yan would suddenly say such words. The strength of this Chen Yun was similar to that reclusive Grand Elder of their Han clan. Xiao Yan's strength could indeed be considered outstanding among those of the same class. However, the person in front of him now was not some Du Huang. 
Instead, it was a renowned elite Du Zong. Han Xu's pretty face was pale white. She clenched her hand, bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth. She was extremely unwilling to let things develop until such an extent. From the way she saw it, if she had not stubbornly invited Xiao Yan, he would not have ended up getting involved in the matter between the Han and Hong clan. As such, he would also not reveal the matter of possessing the 3000 lightning movement and end up attracting trouble. A pair of somewhat icy hands gently held Han Xu's delicate hand while she was blaming herself. She turned her head and found that it was Han Yu. Elder sister? Han Shu looked at Han Yu. Some moisture was gathering in her bright eyes. Ugh, there is no need to worry. Xiao Yan is not a reckless person. If he dares to speak in this manner, he might well possess some confidence. Han Yu rubbed Han Shu's smooth, black hair as she comforted her. However, her comforting words appeared somewhat ridiculous even to herself. After all, the strength of this Chen Yun elder was even stronger than that of first elder Su Qian from the Inner Academy. Regardless of how strong Xiao Yan was, he was ultimately still a Du Huang. The gap between a Du Huang and a Du Zong was something that Han Yu, being a Du Huang, understood clearly in her heart. Ha ha. While everyone's hearts were churning with different thoughts, Chen Yun ended up laughing in his extreme anger after being momentarily stunned. This was the first time in so many years that a person from the younger generation had told him he was unqualified. It is indeed the case of the young replacing the old. The young people these days are getting more and more arrogant. All right, all right. Today, let this old me personally witness why the old me is unqualified. Chen Yun laughed to the sky. However, everyone could hear the fury within his loud laughter. It seemed that this elder from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion was truly angered by Xiao Yan's words. Upon hearing the fury that was hidden within Chen Yun's words, the hearts of Han Qi's group sank. However, being the person involved, Xiao Yan merely used a pair of dark black ink-like eyes to stare at the laughing Chen Yun intently. There was a chillness faintly flashing within them. Getting into trouble with the Wind Lightning Pavilion was not something that Xiao Yan was willing to see happen. However, this did not mean that he would simply allow the other party to do as they pleased in disposing him. Following this old fellow to the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion was definitely not something that Xiao Yan would agree to. When he reached their territory where they had a large number of people, it was likely that he would be unable to survive, even if he possessed the Earth Demon Puppet. This foolish act of placing himself in a situation where he would die was something that he would never do. Although this old fellow Chen Yun was an expert at the peak of a four-star Du Zong, Xiao Yan was not afraid of him. With his numerous trump cards, there was no need to even discuss escaping from Chen Yun's hand. It was not impossible even if he wished to kill Chen Yun. However, if he did this, he would once again descend into a weary state. The smile on Chen Yun's face gradually turned gloomy after being stared at by Xiao Yan's icy cold eyes. His shriveled hand curled slightly as threads of frightening lightning flickered. Finally, they leaped and appeared like electric arcs. The old me really doesn't believe that you can escape from my hands today. A killing intent was revealed in Chen Yun's eyes as he slowly stepped forward. His body strangely disappeared the moment his foot landed. The faces of Han Qi's group changed slightly upon seeing Chen Yun disappear. This old fellow had indeed attacked. Han Xu's pretty face grew even paler. She clenched her hand and suddenly tossed Han Yu's hand aside. Her body swiftly rushed forward. She had just appeared in front of Xiao Yan when Chen Yun slowly appeared. Sure. Han Qi's face became shocked as Han Xu suddenly rushed forward. He hurriedly cried out. You are seeking death. Chen Yun, who had appeared, glanced at Han Xu, who was blocking the path in front of him. The corner of his mouth emitted a cold cry as he waved his sleeves. A majestic force swept out and arrived in front of her in the blink of an eye. Under such a powerful force, even Han Xu's heart formed a chill that was difficult to resist. Just when Han Xu was waiting to die, a suction force suddenly surged from behind. Her body was swiftly pulled back before Xiao Yan grabbed her delicate waist and quickly withdrew. Humph. Chen Yun let out a cold snort when he saw Xiao Yan intervene. A silver glow appeared under his feet. His body trembled while a thunderous roar sounded. Xiao Yan's body suddenly shifted while he was quickly withdrawing. He could not care for the delicate beauty in his embrace as he threw his palm against her. A gentle force erupted, throwing her gently toward Han Qi's group. Xiao Yan's eyes shrank slightly after having just sent Han Xu away. A ghost-like figure appeared above his head as a ghost claw that was flickering with a lightning glow trickily and viciously struck at his head. 
It carried a terrifying force that tore through the sky. The faces of Han Chi's group immediately turned ugly as they watched Chen Yun, who had used such a vicious strike against Xiao Yan the moment he attacked. Han Xu, who had just been received by Han Yu, had an even paler pretty face. Her lovely body had become unsteady. The lightning glow ghost claw came crashing down in front of many shocked gazes. Just as quite a number of people felt unable to watch the bloody scene and planned to shut their eyes, a bright silver-colored glow suddenly erupted in front of Xiao Yan. A blurry human figure appeared amid the silver glow. Bang! The silver glow had just appeared when a completely silver-colored arm suddenly penetrated the silver glow and violently collided with Chen Yun's lightning ghost claw. Immediately, a muffled sound and a frightening air wave spread out like ocean waves from the point of contact. Spider web-like cracks began to appear on the ground wherever the wave passed. Clang. The silver-colored arm and the lightning ghost claw paused for an instant before old man's body shook. Under the violent airwaves, its owner's feet hurriedly took over a dozen steps back in empty space before barely managing to stabilize his body. The sudden scene caused all the eyes present to solidify. This was especially the case when they saw that it was actually Chen Yun who was unable to hold out and was forced back in the exchange. Shock came surging out of their hearts in an uncontrolled manner. Chen Yun steadied his body and swiftly raised his head. Some astonishment had also appeared on his face, which was covered with killing intent. His eyes stared intently at the silver glow as he spoke in a deep voice, Who are you? This is a matter of my wind lightning pavilion. Please do not intervene. The silver glow slowly scattered under Chen Yun's focus. Finally, a human figure that seemed to be completely constructed from silver appeared in front of the eyes of everyone present. The human figure was not very huge. Instead, it appeared a little skinny. Its skin was like silver, while both of its eyes were empty, and a vague silver glow flickered within it. Moreover, the thing that really shocked people was that there was not a single person who could sense its breathing. It is actually a puppet? How is it possible that this fellow possesses such a powerful puppet? Chen Yun was immediately startled after the silver glow disappeared. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that this was a puppet without any will. Moreover, the thing that he really could not believe was that the strength of this puppet was stronger than him. I have said before that you do not have the qualification to cripple me. A voice that contained a dark chill was slowly emitted from behind the silver-colored human figure. Immediately, Xiao Yan stepped forward and stared at Chen Yun with dense eyes. Chen Yun's face twitched a little as he sinisterly said, it is unexpected that you actually possess a Du Zong class puppet. I have really underestimated you. The moment these words were said, both the people from the Han and Hong clan became dull. A Du Zong class puppet? This? How was this possible? Kill him? Xiao Yan was expressionless. His finger suddenly pointed toward Chen Yun as he slowly gave a command. Xiao Yan's voice had just sounded when the earth demon puppet in front of him stepped on the ground. With a shu sound, it transformed into a light figure that charged toward Chen Yun. This act of completely relying on its physical speed to cause a sonic boom along the way caused everyone watching it to become speechless. Chen Yun's heart sank as the earth demon puppet charged over. After the brief exchange earlier, he knew that the strength of this puppet was stronger than him. Its physical body was so strong that it was frightening. Additionally, it did not have the slightest feeling of pain. If one were to really fight, Chen Yun was definitely no match for it. Hong Li, I will hold back this puppet. You will kill that brat. Once he dies, the puppet will naturally stop. Once he is finished off, I will give this Du Zong class puppet to your Hong clan. Chen Yun hurriedly dodged when the silver glow flickered. At the same time, he let out a cry. Hong Li was initially startled when he heard this. Immediately, a greediness that was difficult to hide erupted from his eyes. A Du Zong class puppet was worth the entire Hong clan going all out to obtain. Old Chen, please be reassured. I will personally act and kill this brat to take revenge for my son, who was injured by him. Hong Li licked his mouth and smiled in a savage manner. Relax, if anyone dares to stop you, I, as an elder of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, will announce that that person will be an enemy of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. We will not rest until we finish him off. The next words from Yun Chen caused Han Chi, whose feet were just about to move, to turn gloomy. Ha ha, thank you old Chen. Hong Li let out a loud laugh as he gloatingly glanced at Han Chi. After which, he revealed a cruel smile toward the indifferent face of Xiao Yan. His dark cold voice was filled with an incomparable killing intent. 
Brat, relax, I will first break all your four limbs and allow you to taste what is called a fate worse than death. End of chapter. Chapter 967. Encirclement by the Hong Clan. Killing intent also flashed across Xiao Yan's expressionless face as he looked at Hong Li striding over with a savage smile. These people from the Hong clan were indeed hateful. Hong Li, aren't you ashamed of attacking someone from the younger generation with your status? Han Chi looked at the pale-faced Han Shu by the side before involuntarily crying out with a furious voice. Hong Li momentarily paused. He glanced at Han Chi and coldly laughed, what younger generation? His strength is comparable to even those of our generation. Han Chi, if your Han clan wishes to intervene, you can step forward as long as you aren't afraid of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, making you repay after that. He <laughs> he. Han Chi's face turned green upon hearing the threat within Hong Li's words. However, he really did not dare intervene. The words that Chen Yun had mentioned earlier had completely suppressed the Han clan. The Wind Lightning Pavilion was a great being that the Han clan could not fight against. Hong Li once again gloatingly laughed when he saw that Han Chi did not dare to make any unusual movements. He clenched his hand, and a sharp broadsword appeared in it. The snow-white blade reflected a cold glow under the sunlight that caused palpitations in one's heart. Shua. 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 The broadsword in Hong Li's hand was randomly hacked a couple of times in front of him. One could see that even the air itself had formed a slight depression. Although this Hong Li was really hateful, his strength was not weaker than Han Chi. According to Xiao Yan's guess, it was likely that this fellow was also an expert who had half a foot in the Du Zong class. However, regardless of whether this person had half a foot into the Du Zong class, as long as he had not truly entered that level, Xiao Yan would not feel even the least bit of fear. Half a foot into the Du Zong class and a genuine Du Zong were not even close to being the same. Powerful deep green-colored Du Qi slowly surged out of Hong Li's body. A wild wind suddenly appeared, whistling as it blew over the arena. The key method Hong Li practiced was of the wind affinity. Du Qi of this affinity usually leaned more toward speed and agility. Moreover, its offensive strength was also quite strong. Hong Li swiftly finished that brat off. Chen Yun's cry was suddenly transmitted over, while Xiao Yan was pondering the key method in his heart. However, the cry this time around faintly had the addition of anxiety. The cold smile on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth grew even whiter as his gaze swiftly followed the voice and turned. He could see that Chen Yun, who still had a look of superiority earlier, had already been suppressed by the Earth Demon puppet until he was at a disadvantage. Each time it swung its fist, he would be forced to dodge in a miserable manner. With the strength of the Earth Demon puppet, Chen Yun was completely no match for it in a head-on collision. Since the puppet could not use a do skill, it was likely that his situation would not become more treacherous. Even though this was the case, anyone could tell that Chen Yun only had the ability to protect himself under the attacks of the Earth Demon puppet. He did not have the ability to retaliate. Chen Yun's situation was also absorbed by Hong Li's eyes. His heart involuntarily quivered. It was unexpected that the puppet would be so strong. Even Chen Yun had ended up in such a situation. Looks like he needed to quickly settle this matter. Otherwise, once the puppet killed Chen Yun, the unlucky ones would be their Hong clan. Hong Li's fist tightened when he thought until this point. Deep green-colored Du Qi lingered over his body like a tornado. He held the broadsword tightly and laughed ferociously at Xiao Yan. His feet immediately stomped viciously on the ground as he transformed into a blurry figure that suddenly shot forth. Qi. With the increase in Hong Li's speed by the wind affinity Du Qi, he managed to appear in front of Xiao Yan within a couple of blinks. The broadsword in his hand emitted a shua shua sound as it danced, forming a couple of glaring blade glows which violently hacked at Xiao Yan with lightning-like momentum. The blade glow landed on Xiao Yan's body and penetrated it. However, it did not lead to even the slightest amount of blood being spilled. An afterimage, huh? Hong Li's eyes coagulated slightly. Xiao Yan's figure appeared around 10 meters behind the afterimage. His gaze was ice cold as he looked at Hong Li who was looking over. His hands curled into a fist and a fierce jade green flame surged out from it. After which, he separated the flames into a cluster of green flames and a cluster of invisible flames. The temperature of the arena suddenly surged when the two kinds of flame appeared. It seemed that even the moisture in the air had been completely vaporized at this moment. Hong Li's heart was startled when he sensed this change. His body moved with his thoughts as he once again charged toward Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. 
Xiaoyan's expression did not change in the face of Hong Li attacks, who had a killing intent all over his body. He activated the 3000 lightning movement to its limit. Numerous after images appeared in a dazzling manner as he dodged all of the attacks from Hong Li. With his speed, it was natural that Hong Li had difficulty catching up to him. Hong Li's heart also gradually became more furious when he saw that he was being delayed one second after another by Xiao Yan. While holding back Hong Li, the two clusters of heavenly flames in Xiao Yan's hands swiftly began to merge. With Xiao Yan's current strength, merging an angry Buddha lotus flame, created from two heavenly flames, was an extremely smooth task without the slightest difficulty. The only flaw was that it would need a little time. However, this little flaw was perfectly covered with the support of the 3000 lightning movement. Following the gradual formation of the angry Buddha lotus flame in Xiao Yan's hand, a frighteningly violent energy slowly spread out from it. Upon sensing the strength of this energy, both Hong Li's and Han Qi's group experienced a change in their expressions. Under this energy that was filled with destruction, even they could faintly sense a little fear. What a frightening do skill. If I end up struck by it, it is likely that I would, at the very least, end up seriously injured or even killed. Han Qi involuntarily wiped off the cold sweat on his forehead as he spoke in a heartfelt manner. He looked at Hong Li and Xiao Yan flashing all around like a cat playing with a mouse, and sensed the increasingly wild and violent energy in Xiao Yan's hands. Looks like he had shown mercy back then. From his performance today, even I would likely have difficulty lasting 10 exchanges in his hands. How embarrassing. Han Tian laughed bitterly. Only now did he understand why Xiao Yan had said those arrogant words when faced with his test a couple of days ago. It seemed that in the eyes of that person, his little strength was not worth being afraid of. Xiao Yan should have some background. Otherwise, by just relying on himself, he would have difficulty reaching such a stage, regardless of how outstanding his talent is. Forget about the frightening puppet. Just this never-ending stream of high-class do skills is something that even the younger generation in a faction like the Wind Lightning Pavilion cannot compete with. Han Qi muttered. From this, it was possible to tell that just what kind of frightening stage Xiao Yan's strength had reached. However, this was only an estimation. After all, they had never accurately predicted Xiao Yan's strength. Han Tian and the others also shared the same thoughts and nodded their heads upon hearing his words. Regardless of how great one's talent was, there was a limit to one's ability. It was impossible for someone to split one's attention to do other things while focusing on training. Moreover, they clearly knew in their hearts that Xiao Yan had another frightening identity. A tier 6 alchemist. While his strength had reached such a stage, his alchemist skill had also reached a level that an ordinary person had difficulty achieving. This was an unbelievable thing from many people's point of view. The reason was that just any single one of the two would exhaust an incredible amount of effort from a person. If one were able to truly rely on oneself to reach such a stage in both areas, it was likely that the person could only be described by the word monster. Everyone from the Hong clan, listen up. Surround this brat. While Han Qi and the others were muttering among themselves, Hong Li, who was unable to catch Xiao Yan after a long chase, completely lost his patience. Quite a number of people were startled upon hearing Hong Li's roar. These fellows were really shameless. Forget about bullying someone younger despite their age. Now, they wanted to bully others with numbers. The face of this Hong clan had been completely lost today. Some of the experts from the Hong clan hesitated for a moment after hearing Hong Li's roar. However, they could only clench their teeth, harden their faces, and charge forward. You shameless bastards. Seeing the actions of the Hong clan, Han Shu, who had just become a little calmer, immediately revealed a furious expression. She could not be bothered with the restraints a woman should have as she cursed incandescently. She wanted to charge forward again, but was grabbed by Han Qi. Father, Xiao Yan has helped our Han clan. We cannot just simply do nothing, can we? Han Shu struggled as she asked. Ugh, why is it that you are so reckless today? If you were to go, you will only become Xiao Yan's burden and end up dragging him now. Is this helping him? Han Qi frowned and reprimanded. Han Shu only bit her lower red lip and stopped upon hearing this. She attempted to explain, he is someone whom I invited. I cannot just stand idly by the side and watch him die. Don't pay me lip service. Do you think that I don't know what you are thinking? Han Qi snorted. He involuntarily smiled and sighed when he saw Han Shu's somewhat embarrassed pretty face. While they were arguing over on the Han clan's side, the 10-plus experts from the Hong clan had formed a circle that wrapped Xiao Yan within it. 
This caused Xiao Yan to have difficulty using his agility to dodge. Run. Weren't you happily running around like a rabbit? Once the old me chops off your legs, I will see just how you run. Hong Li's face was savage as he looked at Xiao Yan who had stopped. He held the broadsword and strode over. However, he had just taken two steps forward when his body stiffened. Xiao Yan's tall body stood on the stone platform. His dark black eyes calmly looked at Hong Li. At this moment, the flame in his hand had already completed its merger. A palm-sized beautiful jade green flame slowly surfaced on his hand. Following the slow rotation of the fire lotus, threads of tiny dark black spatial lines swiftly spread from it. Have you enjoyed the chase? Xiao Yan looked at Hong Li's stiffened face before glancing at the experts from the Hong clan within a 10-meter radius from him. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a dense cold smile as he softly asked. Pull back. Hong Li's eyes shrunk slightly as he cried out in a stern manner. It's too late. Xiao Yan smiled. His body slowly disappeared in a ghost-like manner, while the jade green fire lotus remained in its original spot. After which, a bright crystal glow, which carried a destructive strength, suddenly exploded. End of chapter. Chapter 968. Decisive Killing. Bang. A soul-stirring loud sound blasted the stage. Along with it, an enormous jade green wave of fire carried great momentum, as it wildly surged out from the point where it had exploded in a flood-like manner, while emitting a loud bang. At this moment, the entire sky stone stage had begun to intensely tremble. Numerous arm-thick cracks spread out unceasingly from the points where the fire wave reached. The speed at which the fire wave spread was extremely quick. Within a couple of breaths, it caught up with the experts from the Hong clan, who had just surrounded Xiao Yan earlier. The fire wave churned and swallowed all of them like a gigantic fierce beast. Chi Chi! Blood spluttering sounds were emitted from within the fire wave. Immediately, over a dozen figures seemed to have suffered a heavy blow as they flew backwards. Their bodies rubbed on the ground, forming hundred-meter-long bloody scars that startled one's heart. The spreading fire wave seemed to have wrapped around over half of the sky stone stage. A countless number of people rubbed the perspiration that had appeared because of the high temperature off their foreheads with trembling hands. Their lips shivered as they looked at the fire wave that swept over before quietly disappearing. A shocked expression filled their eyes. Under that destructive strength, they had sensed a kind of terror that was spreading deep within their souls. That was the terror of death. Under the explosion of the fire lotus, they had sensed a threat of the aura of death. It was fortunate that the fire wave ultimately did not spread into the audience seats. However, the high temperature that was emitted still caused some people in the front row to feel their bodies become boiling hot. Some of their clothes even let out a chi noise and self-ignited, shocking them until they repeatedly screamed in panic. The spreading fire wave continued for nearly a minute before coming to a slow stop. Dense dust covered half of the sky stone stage, causing one to have difficulty seeing what exactly had happened. A breeze suddenly blew over while the dust permeated the place. It carried the heavy dust as it flew toward the sky before drifting to a distant place. Following the scattering of the dust, the interior of the sky stone stage finally appeared in front of everyone's eyes. However, their eyes solidified and became dull when they looked over. All they could see was a pit, hundreds of feet in diameter, appearing in the enormous arena below. There were numerous vein-like lines outside of the pit. They crossed each other and occupied half of the sky stone stage. Numerous gazes stared at the enormous pit in a dull manner. Momentarily, the entire sky stone stage had descended into silent disbelief. Such frightening destruction had been created by a young Du Huang. As residents of Tianbei City, the people seated in this place had a decent understanding of the hardness of the sky stone stage. It was reported that this enormous stone arena could endure an attack by an elite Du Zong. However, from the looks of the scene that appeared in front of them, either that was a false rumor or the attack earlier had already exceeded the attack of an ordinary elite Du Zong. Those people who had experienced a frightening scene earlier were more inclined to the second possibility. Although the thought of a Du Huang attempting to display an attack comparable with that of an elite Du Zong might appear incredulous, the enormous pit in front of them told them that this was indeed the truth. Han Chi's group had slightly widened their mouths. It was a long while later before they recovered. They inhaled a deep breath and suppressed the churning of their hearts. Their gazes swept across the surroundings of the enormous pit. Over half of the dozen experts from the Hong clan earlier were lying not far away with charred black bodies. Some of those stronger and luckier ones still had some breath left. However, they were clearly in a seriously wounded situation. 
This time around, the Hong clan can be considered to have suffered a great loss. Han Chi Hart laughed in a cold gloating manner as he looked at the charred black fellows. Quite a number of those dozen plus experts from the Hong clan who had surrounded and attacked Xiao Yan earlier were Du Huang class experts. This kind of strength might not be considered a peak existence in the Hong clan, but they were definitely the Hong clan's backbone. Even the Hong clan would have difficulty withstanding losing so many of them in one go. Where is Xiao Yan? Han Shu by the sight anxiously asked, while Han Qi was gloating in his heart. In the sky. Han Yu's pretty eyes looked at the sky as she softly informed everyone. Everyone gazes hurriedly shifted up when they heard this. They saw a human figure standing in the empty sky. A pair of ten-foot-long crystal bone wings were slowly flapping behind him. There was a slight wind lightning sound when they flapped, appearing extremely gorgeous. Under the focus of the gazes of those present, Xiao Yan in the sky flapped his bone wings and slowly landed at the edge of the pit. He looked at those experts from the Hong clan who were struggling to climb up with an expressionless face. He clenched his hand and the heavy ruler flashed and appeared. He strode forward and appeared beside a wounded expert Du Huang from the Hong clan. Without saying anything, his ruler was swung as though he was hitting a ball. Crack. The heavy ruler slammed into the body of the Du Huang and he immediately flew backwards. The clear sounds of bones breaking reverberated over the entire arena, causing many people to feel a chill in their hearts. They knew that with this swing of Xiao Yan's ruler, it was likely that the person would end up a cripple even if he recovered, unless the Hong clan could take out a high-tier medicinal pill to repair his bones. Xiao Yan did not stop after crippling an expert from the Hong clan with his ruler. He turned his body while maintaining a cold and indifferent face, before walking toward another expert from the Hong clan, who had managed to survive the Fire Lotus explosion. The eyes of this expert immediately revealed horror upon seeing Xiao Yan. He had just took out his weapon from his storage ring when a human figure flashed in front of him. The heavy ruler was swung and a chi sound appeared. That person shot back like a rubber ball before landing on the ground a hundred meters away. No one knew if he was dead or alive. The coldness on Xiao Yan's face became denser after having finished off another. He turned around and walked to the next injured expert from the Hong clan. The entire place was silent as they watched Xiao Yan walk to the people from the Hong clan sending person after person flying with the swing of a ruler without the slightest hesitation. A chill that was difficult to contain surged from their hearts as they watched the cold and indifferent face of Xiao Yan. This fellow might appear young, but his tactics were quite vicious. From the looks of his manner, it was clear that he wanted to truly cripple the Hong clan. Han Qi's heart also pounded violently each time Xiao Yan's ruler was swung. Although he was shocked by Xiao Yan's vicious actions, it must be said that his actions were truly decisive. After the matter today, Xiao Yan already knew that the Hong clan and him would definitely be in a situation where neither would rest until the other die. Since this was the case, he would naturally not leave the Hong clan with any strength to seek revenge on him. Xiao Yan would not slow the slightest mercy against his enemies. Only by truly hitting the Han clan at its core would he be able to cut off the need to worry about them in the future. No one could be blamed for this matter. If one were really wanted to find someone to blame, then the Hong clan should be blamed for possessing killing intent toward him. Bang. The heavy ruler was once again violently swung at the last expert from the Hong clan. Xiao Yan did not care whether this person was dead or alive. He slowly turned his head and his gaze landed on a human figure a short distance away, who was struggling to stand up. That person was Hong Li. At this moment, Hong Li's clothes were tattered. A vest that emitted a glow was faintly revealed under his clothes. Clearly, it was not an ordinary item. He had been able to survive the angry Buddha lotus flame because of the protection of this inner vest. A pair of vicious blood-red eyes were revealed under his scattered hair. Earlier, he had personally witnessed Xiao Yan sending all of the experts from the Hong clan, who had come, flying like rubber balls. From the looks of the heavy ruler's strength, it was likely that very few people would survive. This time around, the Hong clan had really suffered heavy losses. Xiao Yan, since you dare to kill the members of our Hong clan, our Hong clan will not rest until you die. Hong Li's finger quivered as it was pointed toward Xiao Yan while he viciously promised. Isn't that already the case? Xiao Yan smiled. His smile was filled with a coldness. He was just about to move to kill this Hong Li when a low, deep muffled sound was suddenly transmitted from the other corner of the Sky Stone stage. Xiao Yan's gaze followed the noise and looked over. The cold smile on his face grew even denser. 
he saw Chen Yun being struck until blood seeped out from the corner of his mouth after another collision with the Earth Demon Puppet. Although the Earth Demon Puppet did not know any Dew techniques, just the attacks that its physical body could unleash were not much weaker than Dew techniques. If things continued in this manner, it was only a matter of time before Chen Yun perished to the hands of the Earth Demon Puppet. After all, the Earth Demon Puppet did not possess any impatience or negative emotions. Since Xiao Yan had given it the order to kill the person in front of it, it would swing its fist and smash them at that person, even if it was about to die. These useless people from the Hong clan. Chen Yun's face had become unusually gloomy after suffering some injuries in the fight. The corner of his eyes swiftly glanced at Xiao Yan, and he cursed in his heart. He roared out furiously, Hong Li, why aren't you calling Hong Yan Xiao? Does your Hong clan intend to be destroyed by him today? Hong Li was startled after hearing Chen Yun's furious roar. His gaze viciously landed on Xiao Yan as he spoke in a dense manner, little bastard, you can forget about leaving in one piece, now that you have killed the people from my Hong clan. Hong Li swiftly took out a blood-colored jade piece from his storage ring and violently shattered it the moment he uttered those words. The jade piece had just been shattered when a human figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Hong Li hurriedly raised his head and saw a sinister face. He hurriedly retreated in his shock. Bang. The heavy ruler was waved, and it immediately carried a ear-piercing sonic boom as it violently slammed into Hong Li's body. He spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. His body flew into the enormous pit like a meteorite. Finally, it smashed against a large rock. Rock fragments flew in all directions. Hong Li shook a couple of times before his body gradually became stiff. Xiao Yan, leave quickly. Hong Li has already sent a message to the ancestor of the Hong clan. He will arrive soon. That old fellow's strength is a little stronger than even Chen Yun's. An anxious voice was quietly transmitted into Xiao Yan's ear after he sent Hong Li flying with his ruler. Xiao Yan identified it as Han Qi's voice. Xiao Yan's fist tightened. He inhaled a deep breath and cupped his hands toward the Han clan. The bone wings on his back were flapped as he swiftly launched into the sky. However, just as he was about to grab the Earth Demon Puppet, a majestic aura, that was filled with a furious killing intent, was suddenly transmitted from a corner of Tianbei City. Immediately, a wrathful roar resounded in the sky above Tianbei City. For daring to kill the members of my Hong clan, the old me will tear your corpse into tens of thousands of pieces and turn your bones into ashes today, regardless of who you are. End of chapter. Chapter 969. Crazy Action. The raving roar that was filled with killing intent reverberated unceasingly over the sky of Tianbei City like thunder, causing the entire city to be momentarily quiet. Numerous gazes that faintly carried some shock were shot in the direction the voice had originated. The roar had naturally reached the sky stone stage. Immediately, everyone emitted waves after waves of exclamations. Their gazes followed the direction the voice had originated in before finally pausing above the Hong clan household. It is actually Hong Yan Xiao. Unexpectedly, he has also been stirred this time around. That Xiao Yan is likely going to be unlucky this time around. That Hong Yan Xiao is rumored to be a five-star Du Zong. His strength is even greater than Chen Yun from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Although Xiao Yan has the help of the puppet, he will definitely be unable to resist the attacks of two elite Du Zongs. Xiao Yan ignored the private conversations around him. His fist tightened slightly. If the little fairy doctor had been here or if Tian Ho Zunji was awake, he would not need to be afraid of the ancestor of the Hong clan. Unfortunately, one of his two great helpers had been separated from him while the other was in slumber. Xiao Yan really had difficulty defeating two elite Du Zongs by just relying on the Earth Demon puppet unless he used the angry Buddha Lotus Flame that was formed from three heavenly flames. However, if he did that, he would definitely be weakened. This place was the territory of the Hong clan. Moreover, there was the existence of the Wind Lightning Pavilion 500 kilometers away. It was clear that it would be disadvantageous for him if he got too entangled in this place. Looks like I can only withdraw first today. This thought flashed through Xiao Yan's heart. His gaze swiftly turned to the Earth Demon Puppet, who was fighting an intense battle with Hong Yun. His brows were involuntarily knit together. That old fellow Chen Yun seemed to have already become aware of his intention. At this moment, he had suddenly gone all out to pester the Earth Demon Puppet, attempting to prevent it from being taken by Xiao Yan. You're seeking death. Xiao Yan's eyes became chilly when he saw the actions of Chen Yun. Aware of the sudden surge and killing intent within Xiao Yan's heart, 
the body of the Earth Demon Puppet suddenly unleashed a glaring silver-colored glow. Its attacking speed suddenly increased as both its hands were like hammers which violently smashed toward Chen Yun, unleashing a frightening force. Chen Yun's expression also changed slightly upon sensing the sudden increase in the Earth Demon Puppet's speed. He hurriedly maneuvered all the Du Qi within his body. Despite this, his body trembled each time it collided with the Earth Demon Puppet. A numb feeling was being transmitted from his arm. Damn it. Just what is this puppet made of? Its physical strength is actually this terrifying. Chen Yun's heart involuntarily felt some shock as he sensed a pain that was transmitted from his arm. Xiao Yan, leave quickly. Don't delay any longer. It will be too late if you delay any longer. Han Qi's anxious voice was quietly transmitted over when Xiao Yan was controlling the Earth Demon puppet, making it increase its attacking speed. Xiao Yan merely shook his head when he heard Han Qi's reminder. He sensed that he had been locked onto by an aura that was filled with killing intent. Even if he were to turn around and leave now, the other party would swiftly catch up with him. A glow flickered in Xiao Yan's eyes as his hand suddenly grabbed toward the enormous pit. A suction force surged and pulled Hong Li's body from it. Xiao Yan grabbed his body and observed him. Immediately, Xiao Yan let out a cold laugh and said, You really have quite a strong life. I am unable to kill you even after all this. But, it's just as well. The eyelids of the unconscious Hong Li twitched upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. He wanted to open his eyes, but his serious injuries caused him to simply give up after a futile attempt. The sharp sound of rushing wind resounded over the sky after Xiao Yan had grabbed Hong Li. Immediately, a vague figure wildly shot toward the sky stone stage in a lightning-like manner. The dark and dense killing intent that spread out of the figure could be sensed despite the great distance apart. Brat, put Hong Li down. Otherwise, you'll die. That human figure saw the person whom Xiao Yan was grabbing with his hands from a great distance. Immediately, a furious roar was once again transmitted over. Chen Yun, who was bitterly enduring, felt a joy in his heart upon hearing this roar. His peripheral sight glanced over and did indeed see Hong Yan Xiao's figure. He hurriedly cried out, Old fellow Hong, the people from your Hong clan have all died to this brat's hand. Quickly kill him. Bang. A silver glow suddenly broke Chen Yun's blockade when those words had just left his mouth and a fist violently smashed into his arm. Chen Yun let out a moan under this great strength landed. A thread of fresh blood seeped out of the corner of his mouth. Chen Yun? The light figure that had hurried over paused upon hearing Chen Yun's cry, revealing a red-clothed, yellow-faced old man. He knit his brows and looked at the earth demon puppet which was pestering Chen Yun. A solemnness also appeared in his eyes. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that Chen Yun was being suppressed and defeated by the puppet. What are you looking for? This puppet is something that belongs to that brat. Once you restrain him, the puppet will naturally stop. Quickly attack. Don't let that brat escape. Otherwise, the members of your Hong clan would have died for no reason. Chen Yun furiously cried out, while Hong Tian Xiao was startled by the Earth Demon puppet. Hong Tian Xiao's sinister gaze slowly paused on Xiao Yan in the sky upon hearing Chen Yun's cry. He said in a dense manner, Brat, obediently release Hong Li. The old me will let you have a quick death. Xiao Yan was expressionless. His gaze glanced at Chen Yun, who was being suppressed by the Earth Demon Puppet's attacks. From the looks of it, the puppet might be able to kill this old fellow if there was a little more time. Moreover, even if it was unable to truly kill him, it would definitely turn him into a seriously injured state. Xiao Yan wanted to delay some time, but Hong Yan Xiao would not give him the opportunity to do so. He had naturally been able to tell that Chen Yun would not be able to endure for long under the powerful puppet. Regardless of who your elders are, the old me will definitely not allow you to leave in one piece after you have killed so many people from my Hong clan. Hong Yan Xiao sinisterly spoke. His body shook and it transformed into a light figure that rushed toward Xiao Yan. That stern killing intent caused a chillness to appear on the skin of quite a number of people. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at Hong Yan Xiao, who had rushed over, before he suddenly let out a cold smile. His palm pressed on Hong Li's chest while grabbing his shoulders. After which, he used all his strength to violently toss Hong Li in a manner similar to throwing shot put. Old fellow, I have hit a hidden force within Hong Li's body. If you do not catch up to him and resolve it, he will definitely die once the hidden force explodes. Xiao Yan laughed out loud after throwing Hong Li aside. Chi. The light figure that was wildly charging at Xiao Yan suddenly paused. 
Hong Yan Xiao Gaze hesitated for a moment before he let out a furious roar. He turned around and swiftly gave chase in the direction Hong Li had been thrown. Although his body had moved, another roar, that was filled with killing intent, was transmitted into Xiao Yan's ears. Brat, I will use the name of the ancestor of the Hong clan to swear that I will break all the bones in your body one at a time and let you taste what it's like being able to neither live nor die. Xiao Yan completely ignored Hong Yan Xiao's vicious roar. He had really heard too many similar threats. However, no one had managed to realize them even today. Hong Yan Xiao had just turned around when Xiao Yan's sinister gaze suddenly shot toward Chen Yun. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a dark and cold arc as his hand seals suddenly flew. Powerful Du Qi was swiftly agglomerated. Chen Yun's heart suddenly sank when he sensed Xiao Yan's actions. He was already barely able to face the Earth Demon Puppet's attack. If Xiao Yan were to join in at this moment, it was likely that his fate would be a terrible one. This old bastard, so what if that fellow dies? He is just a trash, what need is there to rescue him? Chen Yun could only furiously curse Hong Yan Xiao in his heart while he panicked. He had similarly not expect that in the face of two elite Du Zong revealing themselves, Xiao Yan did not choose to immediately flee. Instead, he had diverted one of them away and focused his strength on dealing with the other. This kind of all-out tactic was a crazy one. Bang! Another punch with frightening strength was violently sent flying over and scattered the majestic Du Qi in front of Chen Yun, shaking him until he continued to step back. A feeling of danger rose within Chen Yun's heart as his footsteps hurried back. The corner of his eyes drifted, and one could only see a vague figure appearing behind him. A palm-sized crystal energy handprint had quietly appeared where the figure's hand was located. The energy that was contained in it caused Chen Yun's face to change. See, flipping seal. Xiao Yan cried out furiously in his heart. The hand seal was swung out in a lightning-like manner and struck at a fatal point on Chen Yun's back. Chen Yun's face became exceptionally ugly as he sensed the attack that came from behind him. If this had occurred at a normal time, it was definitely not difficult for him to dodge. However, at this moment, the Earth Demon Puppet's fist wind had sealed off the space around him. He was unable to use his agility do skills. All he could do was clench his teeth and swiftly turn around. A majestic waterfall like Du Qi shot out from both his hands. Bang! The majestic Du Qi and the seal flipping seal fiercely collided. Xiao Yan's body shook and he hurriedly withdrew over a dozen steps. On the other hand, Chen Yun merely withdrew one step. However, his already pale face grew even paler. Chi. Chen Yun had yet to have the time to relax after having taken a step back when a wild and violent strength that caused his expression to change appeared in a lightning-like manner behind him. After which, it ruthlessly struck his shoulders. Grug. Chen Yun was finally unable to endure any longer after suffering this heavy blow. A mouthful of fresh red blood was spat out. His body rubbed against the ground, forming a scar that was dozens of meters long. The Earth Demon Puppet continued to rush over after Chen Yun's body had just withdrawn. It grabbed Chen Yun's arm and broke the finger he wore his storage ring on in front of a countless number of shocked gazes. The Earth Demon Puppet held the broken finger tightly and ceased launching any attacks. Instead, it swiftly rushed to where Xiao Yan was located. Finally, Xiao Yan stored it into his storage ring with a wave of his hand. The storage ring that was removed from Chen Yun's finger also fell into his hand. Ha ha, thank you for your gift Elder Chen. Xiao Yan held the storage ring and laughed out loud. His gaze glanced at the northern sky. There was a furious aura wildly hurrying over from that direction. Have you discovered something missing? A cold laugh sounded as Xiao Yan swiftly spread the bone wings behind him. With a flap of the bone wings, he rose into the sky and left. Little bastard, my wind lightning pavilion will not cease chasing you until you die. Chen Yun forcefully endured the intense pain that was transmitted from his finger. Both of his eyes were blood red as his teeth violently bit the tip of his tongue. Some essence blood was spat out. The blood had a faint lightning glow lingering within it. With a vicious glance at Xiao Yan, he waved his hand, and the essence blood lightning glow was divided into two. One of them penetrated shot toward Xiao Yan, while the other flew toward the southern sky. The essence blood that came flashing over shocked Xiao Yan. He extended his wings, and his body rose to the sky in a lightning-like manner. However, the essence blood lightning glow was unusually fast. With a flash, it shot into Xiao Yan's body. The essence blood lightning glow did not do anything to cause the slightest discomfort to Xiao Yan when it entered his body. 
He frowned a little while the vicious voice of Chen Yun was once again transmitted over. You have been hit with the blood lightning seal of my wind lightning pavilion. My wind lightning pavilion will be able to find you no matter where you run off. Little bastard, I want to see just where you can hide. I will accompany you until the end. Xiao Yan laughed coldly upon hearing Chen Yun's words. His gaze paused for an instant on the members of the Han clan. After which, he flapped his bone wings and transformed into a light figure that swiftly fled to the sky above Tianbei City before disappearing in the blink of an eye. End of chapter. Chapter 970. 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. A ray of light suddenly blazed across the completely cloudless azure sky in an extremely quick manner. The figure's eyes swept the distant sky before taking a glance behind him. Only then did the figure slow and mutter, by unleashing the bone wing's ability to its limit, it is likely that even Hong Yan Xiao would be unable to catch up. Moreover, Chen Yun has been injured by both the Earth Demon Puppet and me. At the very least, he will not be able to give chase within a short period of time. Thus, he need not be overly afraid. As long as that old fellow chased him alone, he would let him try the strength of the Earth Demon Puppet. Xiao Yan's figure once again slowed as this thought flashed through his heart. He turned his body and looked in the distant direction of Tianbei City. However, not a single figure appeared even after a while. Immediately, he shook his head. This old fellow was indeed cautious. He was able to maintain his rational disposition despite being so furious. It seemed that this old fellow did indeed possess great combat experience. Since he is not giving chase now, it is likely that he is waiting for Chen Yun to recover. That fellow is someone from the Wind Lightning Pavilion he likely has access to a lot of healing medicinal pills. With his injuries, it is likely he will recover after a short period of time. Now, the most important thing is to undo the so-called blood lightning seal that the old fellow planted in my body. Otherwise, my situation will be a bad once the experts from the wind lightning pavilion hurry over. Xiao Yan swiftly made up this mind as this thought appeared. His gaze swept around him before he flapped his bone wings and transformed into a ray of light that rushed toward a mountain range in the distance. It was likely that no one understood the thoughts within his heart. Xiao Yan found a remote location within the mountain range and forcefully created a cave. After which, he used an enormous rock to block the entrance. The anxious Xiao Yan finally exhaled and relaxed when warm light from a moonlight rock scattered over the interior of the cave. I miscalculated. It is unexpected that the Wind Lightning Pavilion is so concerned about the 3000 Lightning Movement. Logically speaking, although the 3000 Lightning Movement is profound, it is merely at the D-Class low level. There was no reason for this Wind Lightning Pavilion to treat an agility do technique of this class as a treasure that no one can touch. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged, rubbed his forehead, and bitterly laughed. Today, I have completely offended the Wind Lightning Pavilion, but I am not afraid. The Central Plains region is massive. Would I be afraid of not having anywhere to go? I don't believe that your Wind Lightning Pavilion's strength can spread across the entire Central Plains region. Xiao Yan's face revealed an expression of deep thought. He immediately spread his palm and revealed a silver-white colored storage ring. The storage ring still contained some fresh blood on it. It was the thing the Earth Demon Puppet had snatched from Chen Yun's finger earlier. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength spread out. However, the silver-white storage ring emitted a resistance when his spiritual strength made contact with it, reflecting his spiritual strength back. Has a spiritual imprint been placed on it? Xiao Yan coldly laughed as he sensed a resistance from the storage ring. Spiritual strength was one of his fortes. Though his actual level was much lower than Chen Yun's level, his spiritual strength was not weaker. It was not impossible for Xiao Yan to break the spiritual imprint that Chen Yun had left behind. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air. His spiritual strength controlled the silver-white colored storage ring, which slowly surfaced in front of him. His eyes suddenly opened, and a majestic spiritual strength surged from between his brows like floodwater. It violently struck the storage ring. Clang. An invisible ripple suddenly surged out of the storage ring the moment they collided. Finally, the ripple violently rammed the mountain wall. For a moment, the mountain cave trembled while fist-sized crack lines began to appear. Xiao Yan ignored the changes in the cave as his gaze stared firmly at the trembling storage ring. Spiritual strength surged out unceasingly. Finally, wave after wave struck at the spiritual imprint within the storage ring. The spiritual imprint that an elite Du Zong had placed was indeed extremely strong. Regardless of what happened, however, it was merely an imprint. 
If the actual owner was located near this place, he would at least be able to control it from a distance. However, Chen Yun was currently rushing to heal himself. Where would he find the time to bother about the change of the spiritual imprint? The unceasing assault of spiritual strength continued for a couple of minutes before a slight cracking sound finally appeared in the cave. Joy instantly surged into Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this noise. He had finally removed the spiritual imprint of that old fellow. Chen Yun, who was seated cross-legged on the Sky Stone stage in Jianbei City, suddenly opened his tightly shut eyes when the spiritual imprint was broken. His eyes revealed a savage expression as he roared furiously, Xiao Yan, the old me swears that I won't be human if I don't kill you. Most of the people had already left the Sky Stone stage at this moment. After all, everyone could see that Hong Yan Xiao and Chen Yun were extremely furious at the moment. No one could tell whether they would be innocently implicated under the fury of these two old fellows. What are you roaring for instead of quickly recuperating? Hong Yan Xiao protecting Chen Yun by the side frowned and asked in a deep voice when he saw Chen Yun act in this manner. The spiritual imprint in my storage ring has already been broken by that little bastard. Chen Yun grit his teeth and replied. Hong Yan Xiao was startled upon hearing this. His face immediately changed a little as he said, that brat only has the strength of a Du Huang. How could he break your spiritual imprint? Although that puppet is strong, it clearly does not possess any spiritual strength. I don't know. Chen Yun shook his head with a gloomy face. He said in a dense voice, once I have fully recuperated, we will leave together. That brat has the blood lightning seal that I planted in his body. He cannot escape. Relax, he has killed many people from my Hong clan. The old me will ensure that his ending won't be good. Hong Yan Xiao ferociously responded. I have already dispatched news to the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It is likely that some experts will hurry over soon. At that time, that brat will have difficulty escaping. Chen Yun glanced at his hand with one missing finger. The viciousness on his face was so dense that it caused a chill to rise in one's heart. Xiao Yan shut his eyes slightly as he sat in the cave, which was filled with warm light. A silver-white colored ring in front of him was emitting a weak glow. A moment later, the glow slowly weakened, and Xiao Yan gradually opened his eyes. A silver-colored scroll appeared in his hand when he opened his eyes. This silver-colored scroll was a little larger than an ordinary one. Its entire body was bright silver. However, if one were to look at it carefully, one would discover that there were densely packed tiny red lines on it. They were just like veins that spread to every part of the scroll. Xiao Yan's eyes looked at this scroll, and his heart had unknowingly increased his pulse rate. This was the only somewhat strange item he had found within Chen Yun's storage ring. What is this? Xiao Yan muttered somewhat doubtfully. He did not open it because of the strangeness of this thing. Instead, he had extended his hand and summoned the Earth Demon Puppet. He tossed the scroll to the ladder. Open it. The Earth Demon Puppet received the scroll. Its hand slowly opened it without any hesitation. Boom. The silver glow on the scroll suddenly soared after it had been opened. Immediately, a furious thunder-like explosion sounded and a thigh-thick lightning bolt shot out. It violently smashed into the chest of the Earth Demon Puppet. The powerful strength sent it flying like a cannonball before smashing heavily into a wall. Cracks swiftly spread on the rock wall behind the puppet before they finally cracked apart with a bang. There is indeed something strange. Xiao Yan coldly laughed when he saw this. If he had been the one who had received that attack, he would have been seriously injured due to his lack of defense. Fortunately, the Earth Demon Puppet had a strong physical body and was able to receive the attack in a relaxed manner. The Silver Scroll slowly floated in the air after having unleashed its lightning. However, there was still a lightning glow flickering on it. Xiao Yan's eyes drifted over it as he beckoned with his hand. The scroll slowly descended. When it was falling, the Du Qi in Xiao Yan's body surged, and the glazed lotus heart flame transformed into a flame that wrapped around his body. The scroll did not display any unusual signs in the face of the fully armed Xiao Yan this time around. It quietly lay in his hand. Lightning flickered. It appeared like silver snakes swimming around, giving the scroll an extraordinary appearance. Xiao Yan sighed in relief after seeing no unusual changes in the scroll. His gaze landed on the scroll, and a couple of large words that were formed by the lightning glow appeared in his sight. 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. The most prized treasure of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It was rumored to be a due technique passed down from the ancient times, D-class high level. Once this skill is mastered, it is possible to form a lightning illusionary body. The lightning illusionary body has a similar strength to the actual body. 
As long as the actual body does not die, the illusionary body will not be destroyed. This godlike effect could be described in four words comparable to Tian class. Just a short line of words caused a great storm to immediately stir within Xiao Yan's heart. An avatar with a strength similar to the actual body? Moreover, the avatar would not be destroyed as long as the actual body did not die? If this was really the case, was this so-called 3000 lightning illusionary body not a little too terrifying? The description of it being comparable to Tian class was not an overstatement. It is unexpected that the Wind Lightning Pavilion actually possesses such a treasure. No wonder it is so strong. As long as one successfully practices it, a Du Zun would be equivalent to two Du Zun. When fighting with others, it would be two against one. What kind of person within the same level could defeat two equivalent enemies? Xiao Yan's eyes became boiling hot as his gaze swiftly shifted a little. Behind this line of lightning glow words were some dimmer words. Clearly, this had been added by other people. The 3000 lightning illusionary body might be frightening, but it is unusually difficult to practice. One of the requirements is that one must master the 3000 lightning movement until the highest level. During these many years, there have only been a few people throughout the wind lightning pavilion who have successfully mastered it. The old me has studied it for dozens of years, but has obtained little from it. It seems that it will be hopeless in my lifetime. 3000 lightning movement? Xiao Yan involuntarily inhaled a cool breath when he read until this point. He finally understood the reason Chen Yun was so deeply affected when he saw Xiao Yan display 3000 lightning movement. This thing was actually related to the most prized treasure of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. He he, I must thank that old fellow. Otherwise, I would not be aware of such a secretive thing. Now that the 3000 lightning illusionary body has landed in my hands, I will see just how difficult it is to practice it. Xiao Yan laughed quietly before shutting his eyes. His spiritual strength invaded the silver-colored scroll that was emitting a lightning glow. End of chapter. Chapter 971. Incomplete scroll. The place that appeared in front of Xiao Yan was a lightning world. Unimaginable numbers of thunderbolts came smashing down from the empty sky like a waterfall. They carried a soul-stirring bang along with a rich heaven's might. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had just appeared in this lightning world when the numerous tilting lightning bolts seemed to have sensed him. With a chi la sound, they cut through the air and suddenly emitted a glow, covering the entire sky. Xiao Yan's brows were slightly knit in the face of these lightning bolts that had been shot in all directions. He knew that these were not genuine bolts of lightning, but were instead things created from spiritual strength that had been left within the scroll. This caused him to feel some joy. Scatter. With a tap of his finger in the empty sky, a powerful spiritual strength materialized where his finger had pressed, erupting out in an unceasing manner. The countless numbers of lightning bolts that came rushing over immediately crumbled wherever the spiritual strength moved. The lightning transforming into silver-colored light spots that permeated the sky before slowly turning into nothing. Xiao Yan broke the remnant spiritual strength within the scroll with his finger before he slowly swept his gaze around. The entire place was filled with a glaring silver color. Below was an extremely large silver lake. Lightning swam all over the lake like silver snakes, giving it the appearance of an electric pond. There was nothing else present in this place other than the electric pond below. It was also void of any information related to the so-called 3000 lightning illusionary body. Xiao Yan's gaze scanned this space an inch at a time before it finally paused on the electric pond below. His brows were bunched up. After musing for a moment, he once again pressed gently into the electric pond. Powerful spiritual strength swiftly surged down and finally swept through the electric pond. The lightning glow that lingered above swiftly scattered. Following the scattering of the lightning glow, the lake gradually became as clear as a mirror. Xiao Yan's eyes were focused on the electric pond, which had turned clear. A moment later, a slight ripple quietly rose on its surface. Numerous words formed from the lightning glow wherever the ripple reached. Xiao Yan stood high in the air and looked down. He was coincidentally able to clearly read these words made out of lightning. Joy surged into his eyes. He focused his mind as his eyes carefully swept over those words, firmly remembering them in his mind. There were not many words formed from lightning glow on the surface of the lake. After around 10 minutes or so, they Xiao Yan had commit them to memory. However, when Xiao Yan began to organize and practice it within his heart, he ended up knitting his brows tightly once again. According to Xiao Yan's guess, the information was indeed related to the method of practicing the 3000 lightning illusionary body. However, the sequence was completely chaotic. 
one could not gain the slightest clue from reading it. Chen Yun possessed quite a high position within the Wind Lightning Pavilion. He should not be in possession of a fake do technique, but why is it that I cannot see any of the training methods for it? Moreover, if I look at it carefully, I seem to feel that there are many things missing. Xiao Yan softly muttered. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before once again shutting his eyes. He began to slowly organize the chaotic information within his mind. This organizational process continued for nearly an hour. By the time Xiao Yan opened his eyes again, the doubt within them had already disappeared. After this long period of study, he had indeed discovered some problems. This was indeed the training method for the 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. However, it was incomplete. It was merely a portion of the entirety. The feeling of it possessing a defect had originated from this earlier. The 3000 Lightning Movement has already been divided into a few portions. This Chen Yun possessed only one of them. How regretful. Xiao Yan sighed somewhat gloomily. However, he felt that it was normal after thinking about it. Being the most prized treasure in the Wind Lightning Pavilion, how could this 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body be placed in the hands of an elder? Placing them separately was the safest method. I wonder where the remaining portions are. If I have the chance, I will definitely gather all of them. If I am able to successfully master this 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body, it will definitely be a great help in the future. Xiao Yan gently sighed. He once again glanced at this lightning world and shook his head. His body gradually became pale and disappeared a moment later. Following Xiao Yan's disappearance, this lightning world once again became rampant with a wild violence. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes within the cave. He looked at the bright silver-colored scroll in his hand and involuntarily laughed. It was not easy to obtain a D-class high-level do technique. However, it was fortunate that he had not gained nothing. At the very least, he had obtained a portion of the method to practice the 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. According to his guess, the remaining portions should be in the hands of the other elders from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. If he had the opportunity in the future, he might be able to think of a way to get them. After softly laughing, Xiao Yan stored the silver-colored scroll into the Serene Sea Ring. After which, he shifted his mind away from it. Currently, the most important thing was to remove the so-called Blood Lightning Seal in his body. Otherwise, it would really be as Chen Yun had said. With this thing as a beacon, he would be sensed no matter where he was. Xiao Yan exhaled gently and swiftly entered his training state. His mind sank into his body and began to scan every inch of it. However, Xiao Yan was stunned to discover that there was nothing unusual within his body after the scan finished. There was not the slightest trace of the blood lightning seal. It is impossible for it not to exist. I personally witnessed that thing enter my body. Xiao Yan muttered. A thought immediately passed through his mind, and the glazed lotus heart flame followed his veins and was slowly circulated. Finally, it erupted and spread throughout every part of his body. The flame burned fiercely within his body. A moment later, Xiao Yan finally sensed an unusual feeling being transmitted over. His mind moved and appeared at the spot where the unusual feeling had originated from. The spot where the unusual feeling was transmitted from was an isolated place. However, it was still found with the full search conducted by the glazed lotus heart flame. At this moment, there was a tiny scarlet silver imprint on this vein. A vague weak glow was flickering as the flame burned. It has indeed hit itself very deep. If not for the strength of the heavenly flame, it is likely that I would have difficulty finding it. Xiao Yan looked at this scarlet silver colored seal and coldly laughed. He could sense that this trace of seal contained a strange energy. Xiao Yan was not unfamiliar with this kind of energy. When he was practicing the 3000 lightning movement back then, he had also absorbed a thread of this kind of wind lightning strength from the wind and thunder. This kind of energy was a little stronger than an ordinary do technique. If an ordinary person were planted with such a seal, it was natural that he would not dare to forcefully remove it because the wind lightning strength would cause a lot of damage to the internal parts of one's body should it explode. However, it was fortunate that despite the wind lightning strength being troublesome, the strength of the heavenly flame was even more troublesome and strange. A cluster of jade green flames swiftly spread out as a thought passed through his mind. After which, it wrapped the seal in the vein within it. A frighteningly high temperature immediately permeated the place. Due to the glazed lotus heart flame having been completely refined by Xiao Yan, this kind of high temperature would not harm him, and it would cause his veins to feel a warm comfortable feeling. On the other hand, that blood lightning seal had become a little distorted under the high temperature. 
threads of blood-colored energy gradually turned into nothingness as the high temperature penetrated it. This blood lightning seal does indeed possess a strangeness. Even the heavenly flame required a good amount of time in order to remove it. However, this is because my strength is a little weak. Looks like I should raise my strength as soon as possible. Perhaps I should also consume a mighty Huang pill. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He studied the blood lightning seal as it gradually turned paler within the heavenly flame. The mighty Huang pill was a high-tier medicinal pill that was only effective to an expert Du Huang. An expert Du Huang would have the chance to raise his strength by one or even two stars if he consumed it. However, a person could only consume such a medicinal pill once. After which, it would lose its effect. Fortunately, Xiao Yan had never consumed one. However, the current situation was one where he might have to rely on this thing. Once I have removed this blood lightning seal, I will find another safe place to consume the medicinal pill and raise my strength in an attempt to quickly break through to the Du Zong class. The strength of a Du Huang is far from sufficient to roam the central plains. Xiao Yan made up his mind and hurriedly focused his attention, urging the heavenly flame to swiftly refine the blood lightning seal. This refinement continued for around two hours before the blood lightning seal turned into a cluster of blood-colored fog that was finally vaporized into nothingness under the grilling of the flame. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes when the blood lightning seal completely disappeared. He sighed in relief, appearing to have released a heavy burden as he said, I have finally settled this. Now, it is time for me to leave. Xiao Yan stood up from the ground and tidied himself. After which, he returned the earth demon puppet to his storage ring and walked swiftly to the entrance of the cave. Just as he was about to open the enormous rock door at the entrance of the cave, a rumbling loud voice was suddenly transmitted from outside. The intense trembling caused the interior of the cave to become shaky. Xiao Yan, come out. Just when Xiao Yan was stunned by this unexpected change, a furious roar reverberated over the mountain range like thunder. Chen Yun? He has actually chased me to this place. Xiao Yan's expression instantly became ugly when he heard the roar from outside. It was unexpected that the old fellow hated him to such an extent. He had actually followed him within such a short period of time. Since Chen Yun dared to give chase, it was likely that Hong Yan Xiao had also arrived. If Xiao Yan did not use some true skill when facing two elite Du Zongs, it was likely that the matter today would not end well. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath. A ruthless expression also flashed within his eyes. These two old fellows were pressing him. As the saying went, a rabbit would also bite someone in its anxiety, much less Xiao Yan, who was a fierce wolf with sharp teeth. He he, little fellow, it is unexpected that the old me has found you in such a miserable setting when I woke up. It is really a blessing to my eyes. When Xiao Yan was planning to go all out in his heart, an elderly teasing laughter suddenly sounded within his heart without any forewarning. Old Mr. Yao? Xiao Yan exclaimed when he heard this familiar laughter. A joy that was difficult to hide surged into his eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 972. Monstrous Aura. Over a dozen figures were suspended in the azure sky. They were all scattered, and their gazes were carefully scanning the mountain range below. These were all people who had come chasing after Xiao Yan. Each of them carried an incomparable anger and killing intent. However, they were unaware of just what Xiao Yan was thinking at this moment. Chen Yun, didn't you say that that brat had been struck by your blood lightning seal? You should be able to detect his exact spot. Where is he? A red-clothed, yellow-faced old man finally turned his head, furiously demanded information from the gray-clothed old man beside him, after failing to find any traces, despite having searched for a while. Chen Yun's expression was a little gloomy at this moment. He had sensed that his connection with the blood lightning seal was weakening on his way here, especially when he had just entered the area around the mountain range. That connection had been completely broken at that moment. Hence, he could only rely on the route transmitted by the slight connection earlier to search. However, it was a futile effort despite having spent such a long time. I don't know just what method that brat used to remove the blood lightning seal that I left in his body. Chen Yun gloomily replied. Honestly speaking, he was feeling extremely shocked at this moment. The difficulty involved in removing the blood lightning seal was something that he understood extremely well. However, it had been dispelled within less than half a day. This was the first time that he had been met with such an occurrence in all his years. Didn't you have great confidence in your blood lightning seal? If I knew that this would be the case, the old me would have directly given chase. Hong Yan Xiao became furious upon hearing this. 
if they were to lose the connection, how would they find that brat after he had fled a great distance? What are you roaring for? You give chase? Humph. Would you not have long since given chase if you had not been afraid of the puppet in that brat's hand? Chen Yun frowned and spoke in a somewhat irritated manner. You. You are speaking nonsense. Would the old me be afraid of that brat's puppet? Hong Yan Xiao furiously cried out. Once we find him, you can go and deal with that puppet. Chen Yun coldly laughed. He immediately waved his hand, and a deep voice sounded, all of you should head down and search the place an inch at a time. That brat is definitely still in this mountain range. I don't believe that he can flee under my eyes. The dozen experts in the sky were startled for a moment upon hearing Chen Yun's orders, before they turned their gazes to Hong Yan Xiao. They were the people invited by the Hong clan. Naturally, they needed to hear Hong Yan Xiao's instruction. Do as he said. Hong Yan Xiao swung his sleeves and commanded them. Understood. The dozen plus invited helpers from the Hong clan finally cupped their hands and spread out after hearing the order. They slowly descended, formed a fan shape, and began searching the mountain range. Two human figures quietly flashed and appeared within a lush green forest behind Hong Yan Xiao's group while they were searching for Xiao Yan. The lady among them was surprisingly Han Shu. Standing beside her was a white-clothed old man with a bitter smile. The old man's gaze passed through the gap between the branches and looked at Chen Yun's group in the distant sky. A solemn expression flashed in his eyes. Great-grandfather, will they find Xiao Yan? Han Shu's searing hot eyes looked at the invited helpers of the Hong clan as they searched the place carefully before involuntarily asking in a concerned manner. Ugh, girl, although the old me was unable to endure your tantrum and ended up bringing you over to take a look, I will still say some ugly words first. You should understand great-grandfather. It is fine if it was just that Hong Yan Xiao. However, Chen Yun is a member of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Our Han clan cannot offend that kind of faction. The white-clothed old man sighed as he spoke with a somewhat solemn face. I have taken the risk to bring you over, mainly because that little fellow helped our Han clan. The old me does not like to owe another a favor. Otherwise, regardless of how nice you put it, I will not treat a big matter like offending the Wind Lightning Pavilion as child's play. Han Shu gently bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth as she quietly nodded. She softly said, Shu Er knows her limits. At, at that time, great grandfather should intervene based on the situation. If it is not possible, then just leave. Her round eyes had immediately become much redder at the end of her words. The white-clothed old man once again laughed bitterly when he saw this manner of hers. He rubbed Han Shu's smooth black hair and sighed, Ugh, by being able to make my little granddaughter act like this, this little fellow called Xiao Yan really does have some skill. Han Shu's pretty face revealed embarrassment when she heard his words. She was just about to speak when a bang sounded in the distant mountain range. Upon the sounding of the explosion, numerous whistling sounds began to be transmitted from the distance. One could even hear a faint cry of he is here. Has he been discovered? Han Shu's hands were tightly clenched. Brat, I thought that you had wished to hide for an entire lifetime. Chen Yun spoke with ridicule. His figure was suspended in the sky as his sinister gaze looked at the young man who was slowly walking out of a cave. There are really quite a lot of people who have come. Looks like Elder Chen really hates me. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the sky around him. Finally, they paused on Hong Yan Xiao's body while he spoke with a smile. Once you land in my hands, you will clearly experience the hatred of the old me. Chen Yun viciously spoke. The faint pain that was being transmitted from his hand was just like a thorn ruthlessly piercing into his heart. That humiliation caused the killing intent in his heart to surge. Brat, this time around, the old me wants to see just how you will be able to flee. I have promised my nephew that I will break all your limbs and bring you to him. Hong Yan Xiao's gaze revealed a fierce glow as he stared at Xiao Yan. His sinister voice caused the surrounding helpers invited by the Hong clan to feel a chill in their hearts. Xiao Yan lips curled. However, this smile of his contained a frosty chill. Looks like the two of you really wish to render me dead and will definitely not give up. In that cause. Allow me to take both of your lives. Hong Yan Xiao immediately laughed upon seeing the smile on Xiao Yan's face. He mocked, arrogant young man. Do you really think that a puppet can save your life? The smile on Xiao Yan's face involuntarily became a little stranger when he heard this. He flicked his finger and a silver glow flashed. The earth demon puppet also surfaced in front of him. Seeing the appearance of this earth demon puppet, the helpers of the Han clan in the sky hurriedly withdrew a little. 
They were also extremely terrified of this fierce puppet, which had broken off one of Chen Yun's finger. Hong Yan Xiao's eyes also solidified slightly when the Earth Demon puppet appeared. His face became slightly solemn. The troublesomeness of this puppet was something that he was also clearly aware of. Hong Yan Xiao, since you said Thosser words earlier, we'll leave this puppet to you. Leave that brat to me to deal with. Chen Yun's eyes also flickered slightly as they stared at the Earth Demon puppet. There was a faint fear within them. Finally, he turned his head and spoke to Hong Yan Xiao. Hong Yan Xiao's face immediately twitched a little upon hearing these words. He inhaled a deep breath of air and coldly laughed, leave it to the old me. You, on the other hand, should finish that brat off as soon as possible. Relax, this time around, the old me will let him know that offending the wind lightning pavilion was his greatest mistake. Chen Yun's gaze looked at Xiao Yan in a savage manner as he spoke in a dense voice. Xiao Yan merely smiled in the face of these two old fellows ill intent. His finger gently rubbed the snow white ring without leaving a trace. After which, he suddenly pointed at Hong Yan Xiao and softly said, kill him. The earth demon puppet in front of him stomped heavily on the ground just after Xiao Yan's voice had sounded. The mountain rocks cracked and the earth demon puppet's body shot toward the sky like a fire arrow. It violently flew toward Hong Yan Xiao. Humph, allow the old me to see just how great is this puppet. Hong Yan Xiao coldly laughed when he saw the earth demon puppet coming at him with a fierce momentum. Fiery red dew key surged out of his body like a flame in all directions. His hand was clenched, and a two-meter-long scimitar appeared in his hand. The scimitar emitted a hot force when it was swung and violently hacked at the earth demon puppet. Clang! The scimitar hacked at the earth demon puppet's shoulder. However, only some sparks were created. The white scar also appeared where the blade landed. What a hard body. Hong Yan Xiao was slightly startled when he saw this. He tightly re-gripped the scimitar. He then collided head-on with the earth demon puppet, and an intense big battle erupted. Chen Yun slowly lowered his body, while Hong Yan Xiao was pestering the earth demon puppet. He remained suspended in the sky just in front of Xiao Yan. His dried face revealed a frightening smile as he slowly spoke in a dense voice. Brat, you have broken off a finger of mine. Later, I will completely cripple all ten fingers of yours. Xiao Yan smiled faintly. His feet stomped on the ground as his body rose. A short while later, he drifted and landed on a large tree. Hong Chen's hands were merely placed behind him as he watched Xiao Yan's actions. His eyes revealed ridicule as he watched Xiao Yan move from the way he saw it, Xiao Yan was merely a mouse struggling before it died in this situation. Moreover, he was the cat playing with the mouse. However, this was merely his wishful thinking. Xiao Yan completely ignored the ridicule in Chen Yun's eyes. His hands were slowly spread apart as he gradually shut his eyes. A soft mutter sounded within his heart. Old Mr. Yao, please temporarily lend your strength to me. A soft mutter slowly sounded. A moment later, the snow-white ring on Xiao Yan's finger shook gently. Immediately, an extremely majestic and vast spiritual strength moved along Xiao Yan's arm, wildly surging into him in a flood-like manner. With the pouring of the majestic spiritual strength into Xiao Yan's body, the space around him had suddenly, but slowly become distorted. A monstrous aura that was like an awakened emperor that dominated this world. Chen Yun, those helpers from the Hong clan around and even Hong Yan Xiao, who was fighting the earth demon puppet, felt a momentary dullness within their heads the instant this monstrous aura appeared. Immediately, shock that was difficult to restrain surged from deep within their hearts in a manner similar to wild grass. End of chapter. Chapter 973. Killing Chen Yun. The majestic aura rippled around Xiao Yan's body, while the entire mountain range trembled under this frightening aura. Occasionally, a trembling whimper-like roar sounded softly within the mountain forest. The roar contained a terrified feeling within it. With the powerful spiritual strength within Xiao Yan's body, his toes slowly left the treetop. He was suspended in the empty air in the sky. Perhaps it was because of his body being filled with too much spiritual strength, but a silver-white color gradually surfaced in his eyes. This silver-white color became denser until his eyes basically radiated this color. Looking from a distance, his original black eyes had transformed into a pair of silver-white eyes that appeared extremely cold. The rising aura continued for a moment before it came to a slow stop. Xiao Yan lowered his head slightly and looked at Chen Yun, whose expression had drastically changed. He slowly asked, aren't you planning on crippling my ten fingers? 
The voice was not loud, but it possessed a pressure that seemed to unroll from his spirit, causing Chen Yun's spirit to tremble as a result. What has this brat done? Why is it that he has suddenly become so strong? Looking at this aura, it is likely that he has the strength of a 7-star or even 8-star Du Zong. Is this real or not? Chen Yun's expression changed rapidly. The majestic aura that had unfurled from Xiao Yan's body had indeed caused him to be shocked and filled with disbelief. He was certain that Xiao Yan's actual strength should be at the Du Huang class. However, his strength had shot up like a burning arrow in a sudden manner and reached such a frightening level. From the way he saw it, this was a ridiculous thing. Doubt flashed across Chen Yun's heart. He really had difficulty believing that Xiao Yan could increase so many levels within such a short period of time. Regardless of how the grade of a secret technique is, it would likely be difficult for it to possess such a frightening effect. Could the strength of this Du Qi be only superficial? Chen Yun's eyes were dark and solemn. He refused to believe that this game of cat and mouse had completely reversed within these short few minutes. Today, the old me shall see whether this strength of yours is real or if it is merely just an act. A cold glint flashed across Chen Yun's eyes. He clenched his fist and lightning flickered. It agglomerated into a lightning mace. His body moved and a faint lightning roar resounded. Xiao Yan's eyes were calm as he looked at Chen Yun on the ground from the sky. An instant later, his hand suddenly reached back. A powerful spiritual strength surged before agglomerating into a five-foot-large spiritual cannonball in his palm. Xiao Yan's arm trembled strangely, and the spiritual cannonball emitted a bang before shooting out. Boom. The invisible spiritual cannonball had just been shot out when it suddenly exploded around ten feet from him. An old figure appeared in a miserable fashion before swiftly pulling back. The shock in Chen Yun's face had finally reached its peak while he withdrew. That attack earlier informed him that the majestic aura of Xiao Yan in front of him was genuine. It was not an act put up by relying on some strange key method. He is using spiritual strength. However, even some tier 7 alchemists have difficulty possessing such a majestic spiritual strength. Just what is the background of this brat? Chen Yun's heart felt somewhat uneasy. Ever since he had exchanged blows with Xiao Yan, the other party was unfathomable, appearing like a bottomless pit, despite only possessing the strength of a Du Huang on the surface. A puppet, heavenly flame. And now this unusually terrifying spiritual strength. Each of these things only existed in legend when it came to an ordinary person. However, all of them actually appeared on him, forcing Chen Yun to withdraw the underestimation that he had made in his heart. Regardless of what method he used to cause his strength to soar, there will definitely be a time limit to it. Now, it is not wise to fight head-on with him. It is better to leave first and wait until his strength has weakened. It would not be too late to attack at that time. Chen Yun swiftly suppressed the turmoil in his Du Qi that was shocked by the spiritual strength earlier. After which, his mouth emitted a sharp whistle. He turned his body, used all his might to activate the 3000 lightning movement, and finally transformed into an afterimage. After which, he rushed out of the mountain range, fleeing for his life as he did so. Hong Yan Xiao, who was battling the earth demon puppet, and the many helpers from the Hong clan in the sky, experienced a slight change in their expression when they heard this whistle. All of them knew that this was the signal to retreat. Damn it. Just what did this brat do? His strength has actually soared to such a level. Hong Yan Xiao cursed furiously in his heart. The majestic aura that permeated the sky also caused his mind to tremble a little. Du Qi immediately surged in his body as his scimitar danced, forming a fiery red blade curtain in front of him that forced the earth demon puppet back. After which, Hong Yan Xiao also hurriedly pulled back. You wish to leave? Xiao Yan coldly laughed when he saw Chen Yun fleeing. He was indeed unable to maintain this condition for long. Hence, once he activated it, he needed to achieve something. Since this old fellow hated him to the core, he was not someone that could be left alive. A Du Zong class enemy would ultimately bring about some trouble. It was better to end it once and for all. A killing intent flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. He raised his hand and pointed it at Chen Yun, who had turned into an afterimage and fled. After which, Xiao Yan abruptly clenched it. When Xiao Yan's hand was clenched, the empty space a thousand feet away suddenly became distorted before swiftly transforming into a substance-like spatial wall. Bang! Chen Yun, who had unleashed his maximum speed, did not discover the spatial wall that had suddenly appeared. He collided violently against it. The special rebounding strength of the spatial wall shot him. This fierce and powerful force shook Chen Yun until he felt his mouth becoming sweet. 
he forcefully swallowed after becoming aware of the sweetness. Chen Yun's body had just rebounded when he recovered. The first thing he did was to swiftly land his body and flee into the forest. However, before his body could land on the ground, a human figure appeared in front of him in a ghost-like manner. A fist that was covered with a vast and mighty spiritual strength, smashed over without any fancy moves. Space ripples materialized wherever the fist traveled as numerous lines began to spread. They appeared like tiny black snakes filled with a frightening strength which chilled one's heart. Chen Yun's expression changed drastically in the face of this plain fist. He let out a furious roar as Du Qi surged out of his body. It agglomerated and formed a thick lightning barrier in front of him. Bang! The fist violently smashed the light barrier, and the majestic spiritual strength unleashed an extremely frightening strength, like a volcano, before trickily shaking the lightning barrier until it burst apart. The remaining strength also splashed across Chen Yun's body in a lightning-like manner. Grug! A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out as Yun Chen's body smashed into the ground by the ruthless punch. His body rubbed against a forest below, forming a deep ravine that was over a hundred meters long. The trees along the way were all completely blasted apart as sawdust scattered in all directions. After borrowing Tian Ho Zunji's strength, Xiao Yan was able to reach the level of a seven or even eight star Du Zong, while Chen Yun was merely a four star Du Zong. The gap between every star in the Du Zong class was extremely vast. Yet, Chen Yun wished to fight head on with Xiao Yan. It was natural that his ending would be extremely miserable. The disheveled Chen Yun stopped his body with much difficulty before throwing up a mouthful of fresh blood. The firm punch of Xiao Yan had caused him to suffer a serious injury. Moreover, that spiritual strength seemed to be unusually hot and violent. Some of the spiritual strength that had invaded his body had already began a destruction on a great scale. Chen Yun's condition was extremely terrible upon facing this combination of external and internal attacks. If this continues, I will really die in that little bastard's hand. I cannot continue to be entangled with him. Chen Yun's eyes contained a viciousness as he wiped off the blood trace from the corner of his mouth. He was just about to flee into the mountain range when that ghost-like figure once again appeared in front of him like the maggot in one's tarsal bones. Xiao Yan, the wind lightning pavilion will not let you off if you kill me. Chen Yun hurriedly cried out. His heart felt a shock upon seeing Xiao Yan chasing him once again. It is likely that they will not let me off even if I don't kill you. Xiao Yan smiled at Chen Yun. However, this smile was just like a vicious demon that chilled one's heart from Chen Yun's point of view. Just what does it take for you to let me off? As long as you state your condition. Before Chen Yun finished his sentence, Chen Yun's body shot backwards. A couple of fist-sized silver-colored beads were ruthlessly tossed toward Xiao Yan. Bang. 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 The silver beads had just been thrown out when they suddenly exploded. Powerful air waves flattened the forest within a hundred meter radius. Chen Yun's figure swiftly fled into the forest after having thrown the lightning beads. However, he did not have the time to sigh in relief when a strange human figure once again appeared. A leg that contained powerful spiritual strength was swung. The force on it was slammed viciously into Chen Yun's head. Grug. Chen Yun spat out a mouthful of fresh blood when the wild and violent strength erupted. His body flew backwards and broke a countless number of enormous trees along the way. Hong Yan Xiao looked at Chen Yun, who was basically unable to retaliate from the distant sky. His expression also changed. Ancestor, should we lend a hand? An invited helper swallowed a mouthful of saliva as he softly asked. Hong Yan Xiao's eyes changed rapidly. He immediately looked at the earth demon puppet that had been delayed a little by a couple of people from the Hong clan before clenching his teeth and giving a command, retreat. Don't bother with him. That little fellow's strength is far too frightening now. Adding this to the puppet, we will only be courting death regardless of how many of us step forward. After saying this, Hong Yan Xiao decisively waved his hand, turned around, and fled without any hesitation. The other people from the Hong clan behind also hurriedly followed. Chen Yun's entire body was covered with mud as he climbed up from the ground with much difficulty. He appeared extremely miserable with fresh blood flowing down from his head. Additionally, he looked ferocious. He had suffered a serious injury after having received a couple of full force attacks from Xiao Yan. Even the veins in his body had begun to show signs of breaking. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was an extremely destructive with the support of the heavenly flame. Chen Yun panted heavily through his mouth. The space in front of him rippled, and Xiao Yan's figure once again slowly appeared. Are you still able to run? 
Xiao Yan's voice was completely emotionless as his silver white colored eyes stared at Chen Yun, which possessed a weary aura. Little bastard. Since you wish to kill the old me, the old me shall drag you to die with me. Chen Yun's eyes gradually turned crimson. A craziness surged onto his face. Immediately, he charged angrily toward Xiao Yan. His body also swiftly swelled, appearing like a balloon that was about to explode. Xiao Yan frowned slightly in the face of Chen Yun's crazy act. Self-destruct, huh? End of chapter. Chapter 974. Self-destruction of an elite Du Zong. Xiao Yan's feet moved as he looked at the swelling Chen Yun, who was swiftly pouncing over. His body quickly rushed into the air. At the same time, his palms were opened and a thread of silver-colored spatial strength flashed and appeared. Spatial seal. The space around Chen Yun suddenly fluctuated intensely as the soft cry sounded. It suddenly stirred an intense ripple, and the invisible space immediately seemed to have become substance-like, transforming into a spatial prison that wrapped around Chen Yun. Even an ordinary five-star Du Zong would have difficulty agglomerating such a substance-like spatial prison. However, Xiao Yan was able to create it after borrowing the strength of Tian Ho Zunji. Of course, the most important reason for this was that his body already possessed a thread of spatial strength. He used it as a medium in order to maneuver the spatial strength flowing in nature. The spatial prison had just been formed when Chen Yun's body suddenly swelled to a frightening extent. Immediately, a soul-stirring explosion suddenly appeared. Bang! A frightening energy wave wildly swept in all directions like a tidal wave. The spatial prison resisted it a little before it burst apart. The entire mountain range shook intensely, appearing as though an earthquake had occurred. Numerous thousand-foot-large cracks spread out like spider web. The entire mountain range had descended into a panic at this moment. The strength involved when a four-star Du Zong self-destructed was extremely frightening. Xiao Yan merely managed to temporarily dodge the attack of this frightening energy storm. His body flashed and appeared in the distant sky. His eyes revealed a solemnness as he looked at the rampant energy wave. After this action by Chen Yun, this entire mountain range would likely turn into ruins. Hong Yan Xiao, who was fleeing the mountain range, also sensed this frightening energy storm. His expression changed almost instantly. That old fellow Chen Yun actually self-destructed. By being able to force him until such an extent, that brat is really too frightening. Hong Yan Xiao suddenly felt a little bitterness in his mouth. If he knew that this brat would be so troublesome to deal with from the start, he would definitely not have made enemies with him. Possessing such an enemy really caused him to have difficulty eating and sleeping in ease. However, this world did not have any medicine for regret. This was something that Hong Yan Xiao was also clearly aware of. Moreover, he was not an indecisive person. A fierce glow immediately flashed across his eyes as he muttered to himself, this brat is indeed extremely strange. However, by killing Chen Yun, you will not be able to feel nice. The Wind Lightning Pavilion will not sit back and watch an elder be killed. At that time. He he. With a sinister smile, Hong Yan Xiao decisively turned his head and waved his hand. His fleeing speed once again increased. The white-clothed old man at a certain spot in the mountain range was also shocked by Chen Yun's crazy act. He hurriedly pulled Han Shu as his body penetrated the mountain forest in a lightning-like manner. Finally, his figure flashed and landed on a mountain peak. He looked down at the rampant energy storm in the mountain range from high above and involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air. This old fellow is really crazy. Han Shu was similarly shocked by the destructive energy below until her pretty face turned somewhat pale. The self-destruction of a Du Zong was not something that just anyone would be able to personally witness. By being able to force a Du Zong to take the dead-end path of self-destruction, this young man called Xiao Yan is indeed extremely terrifying. The white-clothed old man slowly raised his head, looked at the blurry figure in the sky, and spoke in a somewhat hushed manner. Is he all right? Han Shu's eyes also swept over the sky. Her eyesight was far inferior to the white-clothed old man. Naturally, she was unable to see Xiao Yan's figure. What can happen to him? That spatial seal had eliminated Chen Yun's intentions of dying with him. The white-clothed old man shook his head before immediately saying, however, since he has killed Chen Yun, it is likely that he has truly become enemies with the Wind Lightning Pavilion. That Hong Yan Xiao will definitely announce the news to everyone when he gets back. Given the style of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, they will definitely dispatch experts to kill Xiao Yan. Han Shu's hand involuntarily clenched upon hearing this. Her face revealed a worried expression. 
all right, girl, there is no need to be overly worried. This little fellow is not an ordinary person. He kills decisively and does not possess a weak character. With such a character and his strength, it is likely that he will be able to do extremely well even in the central plains, where all sorts of experts hide. It is likely going to be quite difficult to kill him. The white-clothed old man smiled as he reassured her. His words held Xiao Yan in high regard. Han Shu nodded slightly. Her hand pulled aside the black hair on her forehead, while her bright eyes revealed sentimental thought as she looked to the sky. Her elder sister was right. This person was really too outstanding. He was so outstanding that very few women could hold on to him. The energy storm raged brutally within the mountain range. It continued for over 10 minutes before it gradually weakened. During this period of time, Xiao Yan's figure continued to remain in the sky. His eyes were also gradually shut. A whistling wild wind blew over the mountain range, carrying some dust with it. At this moment, the originally lush green forest had completely turned into a muddy color. Xiao Yan in the sky finally opened his eyes when the last wisp of energy storm slowly disappeared. His gaze slowly swept over the mountain range below, which had become extremely chaotic. Finally, he gently landed and his footsteps slowly walked to the spot where Chen Yun had self-destructed earlier. An enormous pit that was a couple of hundred feet in size had appeared at that spot. The black darkness was such that one could not see the bottom at a glance. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the pit. His footsteps suddenly turned, and he arrived at a spot near the enormous pit. There was a swaying withered tree located at that spot. Xiao Yan's hand slowly rubbed the withered tree, while a cold smile was suddenly lifted onto the corner of his mouth. His palm was violently thrown forward and the withered tree burst apart. Wooden chips flew and an illusionary spirit fled from it in panic. It flew toward to the sky. However, it had just moved when the surrounding space suddenly solidified. Elder Chen is really quite scheming. Allowing your body to self-destruct while a threat of your soul fled. Unfortunately. Xiao Yan smiled, looked at the illusionary spirit, and softly spoke. Xiao Yan, don't kill me. We can sit down and talk properly. You don't wish to offend the Wind Lightning Pavilion in this manner, do you? The spirit had just been trapped when it immediately transformed into Chen Yun's illusionary face. At this moment, his eyes contained a genuine fear. If this thread of soul were destroyed by Xiao Yan, he would truly be finished. I don't wish to reach such a stage too. However, all of this is because you have forced me. Xiao Yan softly sighed. He extended his hand and immediately grabbed Chen Yun's soul. Little bastard, the Wind Lightning Pavilion will not let you off. Just wait for your death. Chen Yun cursed viciously upon sensing Xiao Yan's killing intent. Bang. Xiao Yan was expressionless. He tightened his hand, and Chen Yun's soul suddenly exploded. It immediately transformed into light spots before disappearing. Looking at the scattering spiritual light spots, Xiao Yan knew that this elder of the Wind Lightning Pavilion had gave his last farewell to this world. He is careful and does not leave any room for his enemy to escape. This fellow is not an ordinary person. The white-clothed old man suddenly sighed and spoke while standing on the mountaintop. Han Shu stood uncertainly by his side and blinked her eyes. She did not witness the scene where Xiao Yan destroyed Chen Yun's soul. However, she felt that her great-grandfather, who possessed impossible expectations, seemed to give Xiao Yan a very high evaluation. Old sir has praised me too much. I am merely unwilling to allow some trouble to follow me again. A faint laugh suddenly sounded on the mountaintop. Immediately, Xiao Yan's figure slowly appeared in front of the white-clothed old man. Xiao Yan. Han Shu immediately cried out joyfully upon seeing Xiao Yan appear. The white-clothed old man also smiled. However, his feet had shifted forward by half a step without leaving a trace, vaguely blocking Han Shu behind him as he did so. He had personally witnessed Xiao Yan kill Chen Yun. It was likely that this matter would bring about quite a lot of trouble for Xiao Yan if it were to spread. After seeing Xiao Yan's vicious tactics earlier, the white-clothed old man did not treat Xiao Yan as a kind person. Old sir need not be so cautious. Xiao Yan is not a bloodthirsty person. Moreover, I owe Miss Shuer my gratitude. Repaying kindness with revenge is not something that I can do. Xiao Yan softly laughed. Although the actions of the white-clothed old man were extremely small, it did not escape Xiao Yan in his current condition. The white-clothed old man felt somewhat embarrassed upon hearing this. He cupped his hand together and said, the old me is Han Fei. Xiao Yan greets old Mr. Han. Xiao Yan cupped his hands together and replied with a grin. 
Kiki, the old me is unworthy of such a big greeting. Han Fei waved his hands before solemnly saying, we will not say anything about the matter today. However, it is likely that Hong Yan Xiao will make it public. At that time, you will need to be careful of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Thank you for your warning, old Mr. Han. Xiao Yan nodded. It was not that he did not wish to chase after Hong Yan Xiao. However, he was unable to maintain this condition for long. Once Tian Ho Zunji withdraw the spiritual strength, it was likely that Xiao Yan's would experience a weary phase because of the overly powerful energy. How could he kill Hong Yan Xiao in that state? Since young friend Xiao Yan is aware of it, the old me shall not say anything more. I will bid you goodbye today. If there is an opportunity in the future, I will come and seek some advice from young friend. Han Fei beamed. His gaze swept around him and knew that this was not a place that one should stay for long. Finally, he cupped his hands and spoke. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. You. You should be careful. Han Shu bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth and whispered when she saw that they were about to leave. Xiao Yan grinned and said, you should also take care. Han Fei by the side laughed bitterly in his heart upon seeing this situation. He pulled Han Shu along as his figure moved and rushed toward a distant mountain range. Be careful of the wind lightning pavilion. It is best for you to leave the northern region of the central plains as soon as possible. Xiao Yan looked at Han Fei and Han Shu, who had disappeared into the distance, when a faint gentle voice drifted over with the wind. Xiao Yan exhaled a gentle breath. His eyes watched the two figures as they disappeared into the horizon. He also turned his body and flew to another side of the mountain range. The current him needed to quickly raise his strength. It was time to consume that mighty Huang pill. However, he was unaware how much this medicinal pill would raise his strength. End of chapter. Chapter 975. Kingfing Mountains. Enormous trees rose into the sky within a lush green mountain range. These large trees, that had grown for hundreds or thousands of years, were usually able to grow to a height of a couple hundred meters tall. They were the largest living beings in the mountain range. Even sunlight was blocked by their huge leaves. Hardly anyone was present in this place. Occasionally, the roar of a magical beast would appear, frightening off the many birds resting in the forest. The panicked fluttering of wings would form a white figure that spread over the sky, appearing majestic. There was a tall mountain peak that jutted into the sky within the vast mountain range. The mountain peak was not very large, but it was extremely steep. Its walls were nearly vertical, and its precipitous mountain peak was extremely smooth. Unless could fly, an ordinary magical beast would have difficulty ascending it. Clouds lingered over the peak of the mountain, while a young man sat cross-legged on it. A silver-colored human figure was sitting straight beside the young man. The figure's body did not move even a little, while its empty hole-like eyes slowly swept around him. It instantaneously kill anything that approached the mountain peak, regardless of whether it was a person or magical beast, acting like the perfect bodyguard. The young man maintained this posture for around two hours before he slowly opened his eyes. His somewhat pale white face gradually recovered a little redness. Little fellow, your strength is too weak. However, it is fortunate that your body is tough. Otherwise, it would have been difficult to endure the pouring of my spiritual strength. The laughter sounded within Xiao Yan's heart when he opened his eyes. Xiao Yan grinned and asked, Old Mr. Yao, what level has your strength recovered to? Around that of an eight-star Duzong. Any increase in the future will be extremely difficult. Any attempt to return to the Duzong class will require a physical body that would fit my spirit extremely well. Tian Ho Zunji mused for a moment before laughing somewhat cunningly, he he, however, little fellow, we agreed earlier that you would help the old me resolve the matter of a physical body. Xiao Yan smiled involuntarily when he heard this. Tian Ho Zunji was a great help. If Xiao Yan could allow him to recover to the strength of a Du Zun, it would definitely be beneficial for him. On this point, Xiao Yan would naturally lend a hand without holding back. The original body has the most perfect degree of fitting with one's soul. If a soul were to randomly occupy a physical body, it is likely that the effects would be quite poor. Hence, a body can only be specifically refined. Xiao Yan softly explained. Yao Lao had once mentioned to Xiao Yan the method to refine a body. Hence, as long as Xiao Yan found the necessary ingredients, he should be able to refine one with his current level. I shall leave the matter of the refinement to you. Remember, you must make the best one for the old me. Don't cut corners. Although I have never refined a body, I am also aware that the strength of the ingredients is very important. 
it will also determine one's achievement in the future. Tian Ho Zunji laughed. Old Mr. Yao, please rest assured that Xiao Yan will definitely help you refine the best body. Xiao Yan beamed as he replied. He he, it's best if this is the case. Little fellow, you can rest assured that the old me will not let you fall into any danger of losing your life before you refine the body for me. Tian Ho Zunji laughed out loud. His heart did indeed feel a gratitude to Xiao Yan. If Xiao Yan had brought him out from that magma world, it was likely that he would have long since turned into nothingness. How could he possess his current grandness then? Moreover, he might even possess his own body in the future and once again feel the wonderful feeling of once again being human. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard these words. With this expert protecting him, he would be in possession of quite a large amount of capital that would allow him to feel extremely safe when roaming the central plains. However, even with this talisman, raising his own strength was still the most important matter. After all, he could not borrow the strength of others all the time. Xiao Yan mused for a moment as a smile formed. He moved his hand, and an emerald-like jade bottle appeared in his hand. He tilted the bottle, and a medicinal pill the size of a dragon's eye rolled out. Immediately, an unusual fragrance scattered, commanding everyone's attention. This medicinal pill was naturally the mighty Huang pill. Moreover, it was the best quality pill among those mighty Huang pills that Xiao Yan had refined. He did not take it out to be auctioned. Instead, he had kept it in preparation for his own use. Now, it was coincidentally able to come in handy. The use of the mighty Huang pill was able to let an elite Du Huang raise his strength by one or even two stars. However, this also depended on luck. Something like one's strength not even raising after consuming the mighty Huang pill had happened before. Moreover, the unlucky thing was that even if they failed, this thing would similarly no longer possess any effect when they consumed it a second time. Hence, the people who consumed the mighty Huang pill would usually pray in their hearts that they would not end up meeting such an unlucky incident. The medicinal pill slowly rolled on Xiao Yan's hand. A moment later, he gently exhaled a breath, widened his mouth, and swiftly stuffed the medicinal pill into it. The mighty Huang pill immediately melted upon entering Xiao Yan's mouth, transforming into a somewhat warm, powerful medicinal strength that wildly surged into Xiao Yan's body. Following the surging in of the great amount of pure medicinal strength, the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth also twitched. It was fortunate that his veins were tough. Otherwise, he would have difficulty consuming such a large amount of medicinal strength in one go. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air when the medicinal strength swiftly surged and flowed into all his veins. A thought passed through his mind, and the glazed lotus heart flame surged around his body. Immediately, the flames charged into his veins and swiftly wrapped around the enormous medicinal strength. After which, it forcefully pulled this wild horse-like fellow. Following the root of the flame mantra key method, it slowly began to circulate. The space around Xiao Yan in the outside world began to ripple intensely when the medicinal strength surged within Xiao Yan's body. Wave after wave of energy appeared before agglomerating into an energy swirl in the space above his head. Finally, the energy slowly seeped into him through the top of his head. Being in possession of a heavenly flame made refining the modeled energy from nature an easy matter for Xiao Yan. He was able to refine whatever came regardless of the quantity involved. Everything slowly came on track, following the gradual activation of the medicinal strength within his body. The medicinal strength of the mighty Huang Pill might be great, but it was insufficient to cause the current Xiao Yan to feel any panic with his current ability. Everything proceeded extremely smoothly. Whether the mighty Huang Pill was able to raise Xiao Yan's strength by one or two stars would depend on the results when the time came. The mountain peak had become quiet after Xiao Yan entered into a slow refining state. Only the earth demon puppet beside him continued its sentry duty. The Kifing Mountains were quite renowned within the northern region of the Central Plains. The reason was not because there was a phoenix within it. Instead, this was the place where the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion stood. The Wind Lightning Pavilion was divided into the North, South, East, and West Pavilions. The North, South, and West were complementary branches, while the East Pavilion was the strongest. Even though this was the case, any one of the three pavilions possessed the qualification to be ranked among the top-tier factions within the Central Plains. The union of the four pavilions was comparable to some of the factions of the peak, and it was called the Giant of the Northern Regions of the Central Plains for that reason. Kiffing Mountains were extremely arduous in nature. The precipitous mountain peaks were covered in a layer of fog that left one with a paradise-like feeling. The peak of Kiffing Mountain seemed to have been hacked into two by an enormous axe. 
there were numerous partially visible buildings hidden within the lush greenery. The most eye-catching part of the entire mountain peak was the enormous silver-colored pagoda that was located on the highest peak. This enormous pagoda, that rushed into the sky, was named North Lightning Tower. Its body was covered by a bright silver color. One could faintly hear the slight sound of rumbling thunder emitted from it. This was the sacred training ground of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Only the most outstanding people could obtain the qualification to enter it and train. On the highest level of the North Lightning Tower was a spacious hall. At this moment, a number of people were sitting within it. Wave after wave of majestic strength permeated the room, causing the guards standing outside of the hall to tremble in fear. Elder Yun's spiritual lightning tablet is already broken. A silver-colored leader's seat was located in the middle of the hall. Faint lightning glows moved along the chair, spreading in all directions. A silver-clothed figure was leaning on the backrest of a chair, while his silver eyes slowly swept below him. Finally, a faint voice reverberated across the hall. His voice was not too loud, but had a strong pressuring feeling. No one dared to underestimate him. Three old men with different clothes in the hall immediately reacted when these words sounded. They had a clear idea of what a spiritual lightning tablet was. A thread of their spiritual imprint was stored inside. Should they unluckily die one day, this spiritual lightning tablet would also shatter. If this was the case, Chen Yun. There is actually someone who dares to attack a person from our wind lightning northern pavilion within the northern region of the central plains? Don't tell me that it is someone from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion? A black-clothed old man with two long silver-colored eyebrows spoke in a solemn manner. We are temporarily unaware of who it is. This time, Elder Yun had accompanied Hong Chen to Yanbei City, no? Feng. Lei, Dian. You three elders should investigate just what happened. Capture the person who attacked regardless of who he is, even if he is someone from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion. The members of our Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion are not people who can be killed so easily. The silver-clothed human figure on the leader's seat slowly commanded. Understood. The three old men immediately stood up and respectfully replied. After which, they transformed into light figures that rushed away before swiftly disappearing. The large hall once again became empty and quiet after these three old men disappeared. A moment later, the human figure on the leader's seat slowly stood up. He gently waved his sleeves, and rumbling thunder resounded across the hall. It is really a bold move to touch the people from my wind lightning pavilion in this place. I will likely be laughed at by those two fellows if I don't locate you. End of chapter. Chapter 976. Nine Star Du Huang. Clouds lingered over the mountain peak as space rippled. Wave after wave of mottled energy swiftly appeared. It surged into the body of the young man seated on the edge of the mountain peak from all directions. Faced with this endless pouring in of energy, Xiao Yan's body also appeared like a bottomless pit. It did not show any sign of being filled regardless of how the energy poured into him. Xiao Yan had already maintained this state for three days, ever since he had consumed the mighty Huang pill. His body was just like an unmoving rock during these three days. Only the repeatedly rotating energy swirl above his head on the mountain peak emitted a soft howling sound. The enormous medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill within Xiao Yan's body had already transformed into surging Du Qi that flowed like floodwater within Xiao Yan's veins. Moreover, there was an unceasing amount of natural energy surging in from nature. It was refined by the heavenly flame transforming into pure Du Qi that merged into this large cluster of energy. Although there was a large quantity of natural energy, the remaining pure Du Qi that Xiao Yan absorbed was of a small quantity after numerous refinements. However, it was at least better than nothing. Accumulated water would eventually form a river, while dripping water would eventually penetrate a rock. Such accumulation over time would reach quite a frightening level. The Du Qi within most of the practitioners had been acquired in this manner. Relying on medicinal pills to raise one's strength was, after all, a shortcut. It could not be used excessively, or one would fail to reach a higher level due to the faster training speed. However, if one really wished to talk about it, this was the first time that Xiao Yan had used a medicinal pill to raise his strength. He had never used a Du Spirit pill when he was in the Du Wang class. Hence, he was not in the category of overuse. The training of Xiao Yan lasted for quite a long time. The medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill within his body had already been completely refined a day earlier. However, he did not immediately move. Instead, he chose to continue training. This was because he had vaguely sensed that the medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill alone 
would be insufficient to allow him to raise his strength by two stars. He always pursued perfection in everything he did. It was a golden opportunity this time around. Naturally, he needed to grasp it and raise his strength by the greatest possible extent. Another four days passed while Xiao Yan maintained this attitude. During these seven days, Xiao Yan had placed all his attention on absorbing the natural energy. Under this unceasing absorption, the Du Qi that flowed within his veins had gradually surged and become forceful. Each time it circulated, it would bring about an unceasing amount of energy. Such a filled feeling caused him to possess an impulse to roar at the sky. Of course, such an impulse was naturally suppressed by him. He clearly knew that if he let out a roar, the hard work that he had put in during his training would likely be wasted. Time swiftly passed during the training. The mountain peak was still as quiet as before. Occasionally, the earth demon puppet would suddenly raise its head and throw a punch toward a spot not far from the mountain. A frightening force penetrated the air and smashed a magical beast that had flown within a hundred meter radius of the mountain peak into a pile of flesh. During this period of time, this mountain peak had basically become a forbidden ground within the mountain range. The magical beasts that had suffered some losses had also learned to be much more obedient. They would take a detour when passing through this place. Therefore, Xiao Yan's training progressed in an extremely stable manner. A little activity finally appeared on the morning of the eighth day. The energy swirl above Xiao Yan's head trembled a couple of times before slowly scattering. The fluctuating space around him had also gradually returned to its calm state. The energy swirl had disappeared for a short while before Xiao Yan's eyelids began to twitch gently. A moment later, they were slowly opened. The dark black eyes were ancient yet ordinary. They were so calm that they appeared to have just awoken. There was not the slightest ripple within them. The training seal was gently scattered. Xiao Yan slowly raised his head and his hands spread out in a flat manner. A thought passed through his mind and the surging Du Qi that flowed within his veins immediately began to churn. Finally, it was like a horse that had lost its restraint as it fled Xiao Yan's veins and merged into his body. With the majestic Du Qi having merged with every part of Xiao Yan's body, a sharp blow suddenly appeared in Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. His aura was also raising straight up at this moment. It swiftly broke through the seven-star level and crossed into the eight-star level. The aura did not come to a stop after breaking through to the eight-star level. Instead, it surged wildly. The clothes on Xiao Yan's body fluttered in the absence of the wind, and the stone Xiao Yan was seated on also emitted a crack sound. A couple of tiny lines appeared in the stone. The surrounding permeating fog also appeared to have been pulled apart by a pair of invisible hands. The fog rapidly swelled. A moment later, Xiao Yan finally reached the peak of the eighth star. A layer of invisible film suddenly appeared and suppressed the rising aura. Xiao Yan clenched both his hands abruptly as he sensed a faint clogging feeling. He did not stop at this point. Instead, he suddenly stood up and let out a long howl toward the sky. A clear crane-like cry instantly penetrated the clouds and resounded over the mountain range. It was a long while before it calmed down. The howl lasted for quite a long time, as though a breath was forced to its limit. Xiao Yan's face had also become flush red because of this. Green veins pulsed like earthworms on his face, giving him a ferocious appearance. Break it. Xiao Yan's hands were clenched tightly. The piece of enormous rock under his feet suddenly burst apart. Rock fragments flew in all directions as a stern cry was emitted from Xiao Yan's mouth. Crack. Somewhere, a non-existent layer was broken. The aura belonging to Xiao Yan, which had ceased rising, rose once more, breaking through the eighth star level, finally stopping on the ninth star. The aura had just broken through to the ninth star when it came to a sudden stop. Xiao Yan's body collapsed in a weary manner. His hands supported himself on the ground while he panted repeatedly with a flushed face. Although his limbs had already become weak, there was a joy that was difficult to hide within his eyes. He knew that the current him had broken through to the ninth star level, with the help of the mighty Huang Pill and his own resolution. In other words, the current Xiao Yan was a nine star Du Huang. There was only the gap of one star to the Du Zong class. Although this one star has halted a countless number of experts, Xiao Yan had confidence in himself. This Du Zong would not be his end. Little fellow. Not bad. You actually know how to push forward a little at such a moment, relying on your willpower to advance. The old me has not seen this for many years. Tian Ho Zunji's sigh was slowly emitted, while Xiao Yan was panting. Old Mr. Yao has overpraised me. 
it is just that a break was being restrained in my heart and I wished to spit it out. However, it is unexpected that I broke through this barrier. Xiao Yan rubbed away the cold sweat on his forehead and laughed. After the earlier weariness, he could sense a majestic Du Qi surging through his body. That weary feeling swiftly disappeared. Regardless of how it happened, it is still not something easy to achieve. Tian Ho Zunji laughed. Xiao Yan beamed. He stood up from the ground and twisted his body. The bones all over began to crackle. A comfortable feeling that came from deep within his body traveled through his entire body, causing Xiao Yan to involuntarily let out a groan. Is this the feeling of a nine star Du Huang? It is indeed very strong. Xiao Yan clenched his fist and suddenly threw a punch out. The space in front of him immediately fluctuated. A sharp sonic boom was formed on his fist, which possessed an extremely great might. The strength of this force was really a couple of times stronger than a couple of days ago. After inhaling a breath of somewhat moist air, Xiao Yan turned his head. He glanced at the earth demon puppet before involuntarily smiling. Using this thing as a guard was really quite good. Now that I have consumed the mighty Huang pill, I should leave this place. After having killed Chen Yun, it is likely that the Wind Lightning Pavilion will not take such a blow lying down. It is now not the best time to clash head on with them. I should find a city with a wormhole and leave this place to hide from them. Trying my best to break past the Du Huang class as soon as possible is the most important thing. Xiao Yan mused for a moment. Finally, he waved his hand and stored the Earth Demon Puppet into his storage ring. After which crystal bone wings were expanded from behind his back. Wild wind rose with a flap of the bone wings, blowing away the fog around the mountain peak. Xiao Yan's body had transformed into a ray of light that rushed out before flying to the exit of the mountain range. The forest had finally become sparse after Xiao Yan flew through the mountain range for a couple of hours or so. The outline of a city also vaguely appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes. Xiao Yan landed not far from the city. After which, he swiftly headed to the entrance of the city. However, he hesitated for a moment upon seeing some human figures on the road. He took out a doping from his storage ring, covered his head, and finally walked toward the city. Xiao Yan's gaze paused on the entrance of the city when he was close to it. Quite a number of human figures had gathered there. He vaguely able heard some words like wanted. With a slight frown, Xiao Yan approached the city's entrance without anyone noticing. His gaze swept over the wall where the crowd had gathered, and his eyes immediately solidified. The bright silver paper was on the city wall. It contained the portrait of a person on it. Surprisingly, it was that of Xiao Yan's head. Below the drawing was a silver-colored tower-shaped seal. This badge had once appeared on Chen Yun's chest. Clearly, this was a wanted poster. Its target was Xiao Yan. Many curious people were gathered in front of the wanted poster. Numerous discussions popped up. It is rumored that this little fellow killed Chen Yun of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. No wonder the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion has issued a wanted order. Really? This fellow looks no older than his twenties. That Chen Yun is an elite Du Zong. Chi, you have not heard about the matter in Tianbei City the other day. The Hong clan of the Tianbei City has been turned into a miserable state. What is the use of issuing a wanted order now? No one knows just where he has run off to. He might have already left the northern region. The Wind Lightning Pavilion has not only issued a wanted order, but the Han clan of the Tianbei City has also been placed under house arrest by the people from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. They should be thinking of using them to force Xiao Yan out. However, it is not like that Xiao Yan is a fool. How could it be possible for him to fall into their trap when he clearly knows that there are three experts from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion in Tianbei City? Xiao Yan's body trembled violently upon hearing the last sentence. His face under the doping had suddenly turned gloomy. His tightened fist also emitted a cracking sound. Wind Lightning Pavilion. A voice that contained a sinister killing intent softly seeped out of the gap between Xiao Yan's teeth. The fury and hatred within it was not the least bit hidden. Clearly, Xiao Yan had grown extremely angry at this moment. His usually expressionless self had unleashed the anger that he had suppressed within his heart. End of chapter. Chapter 977 a very dangerous place. A human figure was standing above a lush green sea of trees. His gaze looked to the northern sky, and his brows were knit slightly as sunlight landed on his face. At this moment, the face of this expert suddenly revealed hesitation and regret. It was likely that this expression would cause his opponents to feel extremely shocked. This unusually merciless person could actually make such an expression. 
The Han clan being held under house arrest by the Wind Lightning Pavilion was indeed something that Xiao Yan had not expected. After all, regardless of how one put it, the Han clan possessed quite some weight within Tianbei City. Moreover, they did not intervene in this matter. Unexpectedly, the bastards from the Wind Lightning Pavilion were acting in such a despicable way. The aim of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, by spreading news that the Han clan was held under house arrest, was something obvious, not even worth mentioning. They wanted to force Xiao Yan to reveal himself and rescue them. Xiao Yan was certain that Yanbei City was likely already occupied by the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion at this moment. The moment he revealed himself, it was likely that he would end up facing an extremely intense battle. Currently, Tianbei City had already become a trap, waiting for Xiao Yan to fall into. This trap was not really hidden by the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Moreover, it was also impossible for them to hide it. Even ordinary people were aware of what it was. How was it possible for Xiao Yan not to realize it? If one were to really talk about it, it was impossible for the other party to completely ignore such an action, unless that person was cold-hearted. This so-called trap would naturally be ineffective on people like that. However, Xiao Yan wasn't not a cold-hearted person. Towards enemies, he might have been able to be cold-hearted. However, to normal people or those that he knew, he was extremely kind, and this personality of his allowed him to have quite a few friends and experts gathering around him. People like Hai Bodong, Little Fairy, Queen Medusa to even the Tianho Zunji all felt this. Those who were cold-hearted to even their friends would have trouble getting others to treat them genuinely. This point was part of Xiao Yan's charm. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath and sighed, the Wind Lightning Pavilion is really hateful. It wants to force me out. In that case, I will do as they wish. Little fellow, do you intend to head to Tianbei City? That place is definitely filled with experts now. An elderly laugh sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. A great man has things that he can do and cannot do. This matter is something that was stirred by me. Given my character, it is difficult for me to just stand idly by the side. Xiao Yan softly replied. Kiki, these words are indeed true. The old me hates the kind of people who implicate their friends and end up acting in a timid manner. Although you are quite young, you really suit the taste of the old me. If you had not mentioned that you already have a teacher, you would not be a bad choice for a disciple. Tian Ho Zunji laughed heartily. Mr. Yao has overpraised me. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard this. His shoulders shook and a pair of crystal bone wings slowly spread apart. He smiled and said, in that case, let's get moving. Relax, as long as the old me is around, I will guarantee that nothing will harm you, as long as we do not meet an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class. Tian Ho Zunji laughed loudly. In that case, I will thank old Mr. Yao. Xiao Yan also laughed out loud. He raised his head and looked over the endless sea of lush green trees. A pride involuntarily surged in his heart, and he let out a clear roar toward the sky. The shout was like the cry of a crane that clearly reverberated unceasingly over the sea of trees. Even if your wind lightning pavilion has turned Tianbei City into an extremely dangerous place, I, Xiao Yan, will still not be afraid. The cry slowly sounded before the bone wings on Xiao Yan's back were flapped. His body transformed into a ray of light that flashed toward Tianbei City. The atmosphere within Tianbei City was somewhat strange during these few days. This was because everyone knew that quite a number of experts from the Tianbei City had hurried over upon orders. They had caused the many factions within the city to become anxious. With the strength of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, they would not possess even the slightest qualification to resist if the Wind Lightning Pavilion wanted to expel them. Fortunately, however, the thing that they were worried about did not occur. The experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion did not do anything to them. The first thing these people did upon arrival lock up the Han clan's manor. No one could leave or enter. The entire clan was imprisoned in the manor. Although the Han clan possessed quite a great strength within Tianbei City, they did not pose much of a threat to the Wind Lightning Pavilion. The Grand Elder of the Han clan, Han Fei, might have fought with the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion in anger back then, but he could only give up despite feeling suffocated in his heart when the three elders from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion attacked together. His strength could at the very most fight with a single elder. He would definitely be defeated if the three were to attack together. However, it was not as though Han Fei's resistance did not have any effect. The experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion merely sealed off the entrances and exits and did not barge into the manor. This caused the Han clan to feel a little better. 
The members of the Han clan clearly understood the intentions of the actions by the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion this time around. They wanted to use this to force Xiao Yan, who was hiding in an unknown location, out. However, other than a few people, most of the members of the Han clan did not think that Xiao Yan would really show himself because of this. At this moment, there were quite a number of elite disciples from the Wind Lightning Pavilion within Tianbei City. Most importantly, there were the three elders, Feng, Lei, and Dian. The strengths of these three people was a little stronger than Chen Yun. Unless it was some old demon of the Du's own class, very few people could fight with them when they joined hands. Even if Xiao Yan possessed the frightening strength to kill Chen Yun, it was likely that he would find it difficult to fight against these three renowned elders from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Of course, it was not only the members of the Han clan who were making guesses. The entire Tianbei city and some other cities who had heard rumors were all trying to figure out if Xiao Yan would really turn up. However, most of the people guessed that Xiao Yan would not appear. After all, from the way they saw it, not many people who were thinking straight would dare to charge into the dangerous grounds, even if he was the young man called Xiao Yan who had given them a great shock on the Sky Stone stage back then. Seven days passed by quickly while a countless number of people were engaged in discussions. Tianbei City was as quiet as it was before these seven days. The big battle that they had imagined did not arrive. Immediately, quite a number of people became disappointed as a result. It seemed that Xiao Yan really did not dare to come. Sometimes, humans were a very strange creature. When they made uncertain guesses earlier, they thought that Xiao Yan charging in was an extremely foolish idea. Now, after having ascertained that he would not appear, they could not help but feel disappointed. They even quietly felt a little disdain. Their hearts had placed a charge of abandoning one's friends on Xiao Yan's head. A graceful pretty figure was seated on a stone chair in a small serene courtyard within the Han clan's manor. Her pretty eyes was a little absent-minded as they wandered the room. The current Han Shu was much skinnier than before. Although she still emitted a coldness, she appeared a little more moving and pitiful. Han Shu softly sighed as her pretty eyes focused for a moment. Sure, you have been running here every day. A soft helpless voice sounded from behind Han Shu while she was sighing. Han Shu turned her head and discovered that it was Han Yu. Han Shu's pretty face turned slightly red. She looked at the pity on Han Yu's face when she clenched her hand and suddenly asked, Elder sister, do you think? Will he come? Han Yu was startled when she heard this. Seven days had already passed by and there had been no news of Xiao Yan. Given her understanding of Xiao Yan, he was not a heartless person. However, the few days wait had caused the confidence in her heart to sway significantly. He should will likely come. Han Yu finally said after hesitating for a moment. I hope that he won't come. Those three old fellows from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion are people whom even Great Grandfather greatly fears. Although Xiao Yan is very strong, he is likely no match for the three old fellows. Han Shu's long eyelashes blinked gently as she softly spoke. Won't you be very disappointed if he really doesn't come? Won't you feel as though you have misjudged him? Han Yu raised her bright eyes and asked with a smile. Han Shu knit her brows slightly. This question really caused her to feel quite distressed. However, she still nodded her head seriously a moment later. She said, I will be a little disappointed. But I still hope that he won't come. Foolish girl. Han Yu shook her head. She rubbed Han Shu's black hair and comforted her with a smile, relax, the prince in your heart will arrive in Tianbei City with his beautiful bone wings and beat the crap out of these bastards from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Han Shu involuntarily smiled sweetly upon hearing this. She extended her arms and wrapped them around Han Yu's narrow waist. Her head leaned against Han Yu's shoulder and her pretty eyes contained some moisture. Using a voice that only she could hear, Han Shu softly muttered, please do not come. Bang. Han Shu had just finished muttering to herself when a rumbling thunder suddenly resounded in the sky above Tianbei City. Immediately, the entire city could sense a majestic aura that was not the least bit hidden rushing toward the city in an extremely quick manner. The entire Tianbei City had descended into an uproar when this aura had just appeared. Numerous stunned gazes looked in the direction the aura originated from. A ray of light was cutting through the air in a lightning-like manner from that direction. Zhao Yan? He has really come? This fellow really does have some courage. Ha ha, looks like the old me has won my bet this time around. Tianbei City, which had been quiet for a couple of days, seemed to have recovered at this instant. Numerous heated gazes looked to the sky outside of the city. They knew that Tianbei City would no longer be quiet today. 
Three old men on the top of three trees around the Han clan's manor instantly opened their eyes when the aura had appeared. They slowly raised their heads and looked into the distance. A cold smile appeared on their old faces. Is he finally about to arrive? End of chapter. Chapter 978. Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation. The ray of light broke through the air and arrived, appearing much like a falling star swiftly crossing the sky. Within the blink of an eye, it appeared in the sky above Tianbei City and transformed into a somewhat skinny figure. Ow. Tianbei City had gradually become much dimmer and more solemn when the figure appeared. The majestic storm under the dark clouds had transformed the place into a world of water. The storm came pouring down and landed on the buildings, emitting a clear sound as it did so. In an instant, the entire city emitted a continuous ticking sound. Although the rain had come quite suddenly, hardly anyone entered the buildings. Numerous human figures were under the storm as their somewhat heated gazes stared at the figure in the sky. Many people did not expect this young man, called Xiao Yan, to reveal himself despite clearly knowing that Yanbei City was already an extremely dangerous place. At this moment, quite a number of those who raised their heads felt a little respect. There was no need to talk about anything else. Just the courage of this fellow was sufficient to cause them to raise their thumbs. Xiu. 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 The rain curtain seemed to have connected the sky and the earth. Suddenly, a rushing sound appeared, and over a dozen figures appeared on the tall buildings. Their gazes were ice cold as they stared at the human figure in the sky. A low and deep cry was emitted within the rain curtain. Who are you? Xiao Yan. The young man in the sky stood with his hands behind his back. Any raindrop that had entered a 10-foot radius of his body was instantly turned into nothingness. Looking from a distance, it seemed as though there was an invisible wall covered him. A calm voice was also slowly emitted from the sky while all this occurred. By order of the elders, kill Xiao Yan. Do it. The eyes of the green-clothed man at the front immediately turned cold upon hearing that name. Finally, he let out a stern cry. Understood. The cry had just sounded when over a dozen figures rushed over from the surrounding buildings. Their arms shook, and over a dozen long silver-colored spears appeared. The spears trembled, cut through the rain curtain, and shot toward Xiao Yan, while carrying a sharp wind. Seeing this, the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into a cold smile. His hands were curled slightly, and a majestic jade green flame suddenly surged out. A frighteningly high temperature vaporized the rain within a radius of hundreds of feet. The speed of the fire serpent that was created from the glazed lotus heart flame was extremely quick. With a flash, it appeared in front of those experts from the wing lightning pavilion. Its hot temperature caused the members to be greatly shocked. Before they could unleash an attack, the fire serpent had approached in a lightning-like manner. Its fire tail was swung, firmly smashing everyone's chest. Immediately, numerous muffled moans could be heard as many figures fell from the sky. They landed on the ground, held their chests, and repeatedly groaned. An exclamation involuntarily sounded from within Tianbei City when everyone saw Xiao Yan randomly force back over a dozen Du Wang class experts from the Wing Lightning Pavilion. This leisurely attitude was something that even some Du Huangs did not possess. Xiao Yan seemed to have become much stronger after having disappeared for a couple of days. The people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion are only this great. There is no need for these unimportant people to step forward. Three elders, you should personally come and capture me if that is your intent. Xiao Yan's sharp eyes suddenly shot in the direction of the Han clan, after randomly defeating over a dozen experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. His cold cry still rumbled over the entire Tianbei city, despite the heavy rain. You are the first member of the younger generation that the three of us have joined hands to capture, ever since we have become the elders of the Northern Pavilion. A faint voice that vaguely carried a thread of rumbling thunder slowly resounded. Immediately, the rain curtain in the sky seemed to have been torn apart by an invisible hand. Three old men stepped through the empty air as they slowly walked over. Xiao Yan's eyes shrank slightly when he saw the three old men stepping through the air and heading over. The aura of these people were all a little stronger than Chen Yun. From his guess, it was likely that they were all five-star Du Zong. Moreover, based on Xiao Yan's observations of the aura of an old man with long silver-colored eyebrows, it was likely that he had reached the peak of a five-star Du Zong. Three five-star Du Zongs had appeared in one go. Moreover, this was merely the strength of the Northern Pavilion. If the four pavilions were to gather, just how great would its strength be? This Wind Lightning Pavilion really did not rely on an empty reputation to become a top faction in the Central Plains. 
It is likely that the three of you are Feng, Lei, and Dian elders, right? The Wind Lightning Pavilion really has a very high opinion of me. Xiao Yan slowly said. You are naturally not some ordinary person by being able to kill Chen Yun. It is not considered overboard for the three of us to appear together. The old man with silver-colored eyebrows replied. His voice faintly contained a rumbling thunder. It seemed that its very nature had caused everyone to feel extremely pressurized. That is something that he can only blame himself. No one else should be blamed. Xiao Yan faintly responded. You possessed the 3000 lightning movement and killed an elder of our wind lightning northern pavilion. This offense cannot be forgiven. On account of you being a younger generation, we will allow you to return with us to the wind lightning pavilion. The pavilion head might be merciful and spare your life. An old man with numerous lightning bolts sewn on his clothes coldly cried out. If I were to head there, I might really have no means of surviving. Xiao Yan smiled as he replied. Why is there a need to waste our breath on this fellow? Let's capture him first. The pavilion head said that anyone who kills the members of our wind lightning pavilion must pay a price for it. We'll capture him, cripple his due key, and imprison him in the wind lightning tower forever. We will let others know that they should think of the consequences if they wish to touch the members of our wind lightning pavilion in the future. A dark sternness flashed in the eyes of a green-robed old man as he spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan's face gradually became cold when he heard this old fellow's ruthless words. Cripple one's do key and imprison one forever. These two punishments were all so extreme that they were frightening. Xiao Yan waved his hand, and the earth demon puppet appeared. Its eyes were empty as it stood beside Xiao Yan. Its gaze was dark and cold as it focused on that green-robed old man. Xiao Yan spoke with a cold smile, you wish to cripple my duki? I shall see whether you have the qualifications to do so. The expressions of the three wind lightning pavilion elders changed a little the moment the earth demon puppet appeared. They nodded slightly and said, it is indeed a Du's on class puppet. Even our wind lightning pavilion does not possess such a treasure. It is unexpected that you own such a fortune. However, this is far from sufficient to protect your life. If it isn't enough, what about this? Xiao Yan's finger gently rubbed the snow-white colored ring as he slowly asked. An incomparably majestic spiritual strength once again moved along his arm and wildly surged into Xiao Yan's body in a flood-like manner as his voice sounded. With the surging of the majestic spiritual strength, Xiao Yan's aura had also began to wildly climb in front of the many shocked eyes at this instant. The majestic aura swept through the sky. Even the storm had paused as a result of this. Only when Xiao Yan's dark black eyes had transformed into an indifferent silver color did his soaring aura finally stop. Is this sufficient? Xiao Yan's silver-colored eyes focused on the Feng, Lei, and Dian elders. His calm voice appeared to have sounded from deep within his soul. It is indeed as Hong Yan Xiao has described. This aura of his should be around that of the peak of a seven-star Du Zong and is approaching the eight-star level. Moreover, such strength is an extremely pure spiritual strength. It is likely that there is a powerful spiritual body in you. Otherwise, it is difficult for you to reach such a level by yourself. The old man with long eyebrows observed Xiao Yan intently while he spoke in a low and deep voice. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed. The eyesight of this old fellow was indeed extremely sharp. He was actually able to identify the source of his strength at a glance. This old man was much more experienced compared to Chen Yun. This strength is indeed extremely strong. No wonder you were able to kill Chen Yun. However, you might not be able to walk out of Jianbei City today. The elder with long eyebrows spoke indifferently. Hong Yan Xiao, we'll leave the puppet to you. Ha ha, Elder Lei, you can rest assured that this puppet will not intervene in your battle until this big battle is over. A human figure rushed over from a distance before finally suspending itself in the sky. This person was Hong Yan Xiao. Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly upon seeing this. This old fellow. A figure suddenly flashed and appeared from within the Han clan, just after Hong Yan Xiao appeared. However, the long eyebrowed old man's expression turned extremely chilly when this figure had appeared. He coldly said, Han Fei, if you dare to intervene in the battle today, the old me will guarantee that your Han clan will be destroyed. The figure suddenly paused when it heard this cry filled with a dark chill. Han Fei tightened his fists and revealed a struggling expression. Old Mr. Han, this is a matter between the Wind Lightning Pavilion and me. You should not intervene. Xiao Yan's feigned laughter was slowly transmitted over, while Han Fei was struggling. Brother Xiao Yan, it is really a joyous matter for the Han clan to befriend you. 
Han Fei inhaled a deep breath of air. He raised his head and bowed to Xiao Yan in an unusually solemn manner before sweeping his gaze toward the three elders from the wind lightning northern pavilion. He was filled with fury as he turned around and landed in the Han clan's home. All members of the Wind Lightning Pavilion Northern Pavilion, listen up. Form the Heaven Lightning Prison Formation. The long eyebrowed old man's expression gradually turned frosty after forcing Han Fei back. His cold voice resounded over the entire city. Yes, sir. The cry had just sounded when numerous respectful voices were immediately emitted from all over Tianbei City. Chi La sounds quickly rang out, and numerous lightning figures formed an eight corner shape, coincidentally surrounding Xiao Yan's location. The lightning glow flickered and suddenly transformed into a thunderbolt that blasted toward the sky, charging into the thick dark clouds. An instant later, a glaring silver glow scattered down. Countless numbers of thunderbolts descended from the sky in a dense manner. They appeared just like a prison, wrapping the entire area within a thousand feet around Xiao Yan. Regardless of your origin, surrendering is your only option. A bright lightning slowly surged out of the bodies of the three elders. Immediately, they transformed into an enormous lightning pillar that shot toward the clouds. Immediately, the surrounding dense lightning glow had become many times denser. Other than this, you will only die. The chilly cry was filled with a killing aura under the backdrop of the thunderbolt, causing one's heart to tremble. End of chapter. Chapter 979. Thunder God's Fury. Thunderbolts came pouring down from all around. One after another, the silver-colored lightning seemed to be swimming around like small white-colored snakes. All of them repeatedly emitted glaring blows. These lightning bolts contained an enormous amount of strength that existed in a fashion visible to the naked eye. The world could easily break amid the flashing lightning and thunderous roars. Bang, 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 bang. The thunder came one after another. A moment later, Xiao Yan slowly raised his head and looked at the thick dark clouds, which had almost been dyed silver. An extremely frightening energy was gathered inside it. It appeared that this wind lightning northern pavilion had really took out great capital in order to capture him. They had even used such a great formation. Using the Han clan as hostages and forcing you out is indeed something that is not the style of our wind lightning pavilion. The matter today might end up causing us to be criticized. Hence, it will also be the last time. However, we must capture you. We will not allow the 3000 lightning movement to be used by an outsider. Regardless of who wins today, the Han clan is no longer related to this matter. The old man with long eyebrows stared intently at Xiao Yan. His voice was just like rumbling thunder as it was emitted from the thunderbolt curtain, reverberating all over Tianbei City. They had also suffered a lot of pressure while holding the Han clan under house arrest during these few days. By saying these words now, they accounted to the people from Tianbei City and the Han clan. Of course, his most important aim was to restore a little of the negative image that had been formed during these few days. After all, the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion was merely one of the Wind Lightning Pavilions. If they ended up ruining the reputation of the Wind Lightning Pavilion as a result of this, they would also not be able to escape the responsibility of doing so. Xiao Yan calmly watched the three old men. One could not see any emotion in his silvery eyes as he said, just attack. I, Xiao Yan, will definitely not do something as foolish as surrendering and allowing myself to be captured. If you wish to capture me, you will need to show some genuine ability. Xiao Yan pointed his finger at the three elders upon saying these words. The earth demon puppet beside him also emitted a glow in its empty hole-like eyes. Its feet stomped on the empty air as it transformed into a silver-colored figure that rushed forward. He he, Xiao Yan, your opponent is Elder Lei and the others. Allow the old me to deal with this puppet. The earth demon puppet had just rushed out when a crack line suddenly appeared in the thunderbolt curtain. Hong Yan Xiao rushed in while laughing loudly. He immediately blocked the earth demon puppet. Kill him. Xiao Yan's silver colored eyes swept over Hong Yan Xiao in an indifferent manner as he softly uttered. The body of the earth demon puppet suddenly emitted a silver glow when these words left Xiao Yan's mouth. Its palm wind also became extremely sharp. Each punch carried a deep sonic boom as they violently smashed toward Hong Yan Xiao. Seeing that the Earth Demon Puppet had suddenly shown its might, Hong Yan Xiao did not dare to underestimate it even a little. He clearly knew that the strength of this puppet was extremely frightening. If he was careless, it was not impossible for him to be killed by it. However, it was fortunate that his task was merely to hold it back and not to defeat it. Majestic fiery red duke key surged out of Hong Yan Xiao's body. 
he drew two ten-foot-long scimitars that violently danced. Finally, they collided with the Earth Demon puppet. An intense big battle immediately erupted. The lightning glow flickering on the long eyebrowed old man's body became increasingly dense upon seeing Hong Yan Xiao successfully block the Earth Demon puppet. He stared at Xiao Yan as he said in a deep voice, This nine heavenly lightning prison formation is a great formation of my wind lightning northern pavilion. It is formed by 23 expert Du Huangs and 46 expert Du Wangs. Moreover, the three of us will act as the center of the formation. If you are able to break through it today, your name Xiao Yan will be able to shake the entire northern region of the central plains. Xiao Yan's expression did not change because of these words. He slowly raised his hand and rotated it slightly. An enormous spiritual swirling cannonball was formed. Immediately, it emitted a bang and shot out explosively. A distorted path also appeared in the empty space along the way. Faced with Xiao Yan's attack, the long eyebrowed elder did not dare to slight it. The seal on his hand changed and the thunder clouds churned in the sky. Immediately, a loud noise sounded, and a ten-foot-large thunderbolt landed with a bang, appearing like a furious dragon. It ruthlessly smashed the swirling spiritual cannonball. Boom. 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 The two fierce attacks were slowly annihilated. A powerful energy wave spread in a swift and ferocious manner. However, it ended up scattering when it reached a distance of a hundred feet around both Xiao Yan and the long eyebrowed elder. Xiao Yan's gaze slowly swept over the three elders. There was a lightning light pillar on their heads that shot into the thunder clouds. Among the three of them, only the long eyebrowed elder directed the attacks. The remaining two seemed to be pouring all the Du Qi within their bodies into this thunder clouds. This great formation is indeed somewhat profound. Heaven Lightning Skill. The face of the long eyebrowed elder was cold and stern while the seals on his hands swiftly changed. The lightning clouds randomly churned in the sky. An instant later, his finger suddenly pointed at Xiao Yan. Chi. 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 The thunder clouds churned as a countless number of enormous serpent-like thunderbolts shot out of it. Finally, they struck at Xiao Yan from all directions. That mighty aura caused one's heart to feel afraid. Xiao Yan's feet gently stomped down as a jade green flame surged from his body. It immediately permeated the space hundreds of feet around him. The flame fiercely rose and agglomerated into an enormous fire wolf that howled at the sky. It widened its enormous mouth, and a suction force surged out. The thunderbolts that shot over were swallowed by it. After the thunderbolt was completely swallowed by the fire wolf, wave after wave of muffled thunder began to be emitted from the enormous body of the fire wolf. Its body had also become a little paler. However, it ultimately refined those thunderbolts. Go. Xiao Yan flicked his finger. A fierce expression immediately surged into the eyes of the fire wolf as it opened its stride and leaped into the sky, charging toward the long eyebrowed elder and the others as it did so. Before the fire wolf arrived, its high temperature caused the expressions of the three elders to change. Their faces were solemn as they exclaimed, Heavenly flame? Heaven lightning slash. A stern cry sounded and a bright silver glow suddenly flashed across the sky. Immediately, the charging fire wolf paused. A moment later, it slowly split apart, gradually turning illusionary amid a chi la sound. During these short 10 plus minutes, the attacks of both parties were extremely dangerous, despite their seemingly calm nature. Regardless of whether it was an attack by lightning or fire, as long as someone was struck by any one of them, it was likely that they would not end up well. Such an intense battle was one that even an ordinary Du Zong would be afraid of joining. Xiao Yan, don't drag things out with them. They have the support of the Great Formation and will be able to continuously use lightning attacks. My spiritual strength cannot remain for too long in your body. Therefore, you should hurry up and settle this. Tian Ho Zun Ji's reminder suddenly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. Xiao Yan nodded slightly upon hearing this. He inhaled a deep breath of air and his finger gently pressed on the fire seal on his head. It formed a hook, and a dense white colored flame swiftly came out from it. Xiao Yan grabbed the bone chilling flame the moment it appeared. The jade green flame split apart, transforming into the fallen heart flame and the green lotus core flame. Three types of heavenly flames were suspended in front of Xiao Yan. Finally, the three kinds of flames suddenly started to merge when his hand was clenched. Immediately, a frighteningly wild and violent force spread out. Three types of heavenly flame? How is this possible? The three elders, who had not shown emotional fluctuations earlier, changed their expressions when they saw the three types of heavenly flames in front of Xiao Yan. 
all of them involuntarily let out a cry of disbelief. The expression of the long eyebrowed old man also became much gloomier after his startled cry sounded. His gaze was exchanged with the other two. They grit their teeth and the seal on their hands began to change. Following the rapid change in their hand seals, the lightning pillar that was emitted from their heads became stronger. After receiving such a great amount of lightning dew ki, the lightning cloud in the sky appeared like a creeping ancient fierce beast. It emitted waves of low and deep rumbling sounds that caused one's head to feel numb. A similarly wild and violent energy was swiftly formed at the same time. When the wild and violent energy was formed, the faces of the three elders gradually became pale. Three types of heavenly flames were merging in Xiaoyan's hand. While they were merging, threads of destructive strength quietly seeped out. This caused the spatial strength around Xiaoyan to form some thread-like dark black cracks. Cracks had suddenly appeared in the air at this moment. With this current condition of Xiaoyan, it was not difficult for him to merge the three types of heavenly flames. Hence, a basin-sized three-colored fire lotus slowly appeared on his palm a short couple of minutes later. The three-colored fire lotus rotated slowly. Each time it did so, some dark black lines appeared in the surrounding space. Xiaoyan, throw this good thing toward that thundercloud. That is the center of the formation. As long as that place is broken, these three elders will be seriously injured. Even those people forming the formation outside will suffer a backlash. Tianhou Zunji's voice sounded within Xiaoyan's heart the moment the fire lotus was formed. Xiaoyan's hand moved upon hearing this. The three-colored fire lotus in his hand rotated and flew out. Its target was the churning thunder cloud in the sky. The expressions of the long-eyebrowed elder and the two others changed again when they saw what Xiaoyan did. They immediately bit their tongues. Three mouthfuls of essence blood were spat out as they cried out furiously, Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison, Thunder God's Fury. Bang, bang, bang. After the cry of the three people sounded, a soul-stirring explosion was immediately emitted from the thundercloud. The churning speed also came to a slow stop. Immediately, bright silver glows shot out, and an enormous lightning fist, a couple of hundred feet in size, broke through the thundercloud. It then came crushing down. Sharp sonic booms from all over the sky basically appeared one after another as the fist appeared. Continuous crackling sounds appeared as well. Even the street on the ground had suddenly cracked apart, revealing an enormous fist imprint. The enormous lightning fist carried a frightening strength as it came smashing down. That momentum was basically one that aimed to completely destroy everything in front of it. However, a three-colored light was advancing under the cover of the frightening fist, without facing any resistance. Although its size was small, the destructive strength that seeped out of it brought forth spatial crack lines while it progressed. End of chapter. Chapter 980. Fire Lotus Might. Bright glaring light energy appeared like a sun, which suddenly appeared in the sky. The intensity of the light had basically caused this weather, which had become a little dim because of the thunderclouds, to become extremely bright. The strength of such a glow had far exceeded the fiery hot sun in the distant sky. Just what kind of intense glow was this? It was likely that no one in this world had seen such an intense light. A person's eyes would likely only see a complete whiteness. This place seemed completely empty, causing everyone's hearts to be startled. The loud rumbling thunder appeared just like the roar of a thunder god that reverberated over the sky. However, the expected soul-stirring explosion did not appear. The spot where the three-colored lotus made contact with the enormous lightning fist had numerous spatial folds that were visible to the naked eye. The two extremely frightening energies were quietly eroding each other. Along with the erosion of the two frightening energies, a half-foot-wide black hole slowly appeared. The space where the two energies collided could not endure the other's presence and ended up forming some spatial cracks. The spatial black hole gradually widened. It spread until it was around a hundred feet in size in front of the countless number of shocked eyes. The enormous lightning fist and the three-colored fire lotus had begun to fluctuate following the growth of the spatial black hole. Numerous thunderbolt-like silver snakes followed the enormous fist as they wildly poured down. They were violently channeled toward the fire lotus. In the face of the enormous lightning fist's wild and violent attack, the three-colored fire lotus became unusually calm. It rotated slowly and numerous fire seedlings that vaguely carried three colors were emitted, blocking all of those silver bolts of lightning that came pouring down. Although the battle between the two was completely silent and an overly soul-stirring explosion did not occur, anyone with some eyesight could tell that such an exchange was even more frightening and dangerous. 
Within a hundred feet radius of this exchange, everyone, including Xiao Yan and the three Wind Lightning North Earth Pavilion elders, would likely end up in a miserable state. The space around that location had already been covered by wave after wave of extremely wild, frighteningly violent energy. The fire lotus slowly rotated. Following each of its rotations, the enormous lightning fist vaguely became a little dimmer. At the same time, the expressions of the three elders also became even paler. The destructive strength within the fire lotus caused them to possess a fear that unfurled from deep within their souls. Crack. The rotating speed of the three colored fire lotus suddenly became much faster in front of an innumerable number of gazes. Following the increase in its speed, the rate at which the enormous lightning fist became dimmer increased. In the end, the fist suddenly trembled, and numerous crack lines slowly spread out in front of the shocked eyes of the three elders. Eventually, it emitted a crack sound and collapsed into a countless number of silver-colored light spots. Under the might of the Great Formation, the three elders' all-out attack was unable to block the frightening three-colored fire lotus. If Xiao Yan had relied on his own strength to create this three-colored fire lotus, it was naturally extremely difficult for him to achieve this effect. However, the current Xiao Yan had borrowed the strength of Tian Ho Zunji. Thus, his strength had already reached a frightening level. The strength of the three-colored fire lotus that he had currently displayed was naturally extremely frightening. After all, the angry Buddha lotus flame was a powerful Du technique whose strength would accompany an increase in Xiao Yan's strength. As long as Xiao Yan's strength continued to rise, the power of the angry Buddha lotus flame would also become more and more terrifying. Grug. The enormous lightning fist collapsed, and the three elders ended up spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood. The shock in their eyes became even denser. It was unexpected that even with the combined strength of the three of them, along with the help of the nine heavenly lightning prison formation, they were unable to defeat Xiao Yan's frightening fire lotus attack. The color of the three colored fire lotus had become much dimmer as the enormous lightning fist collapsed. However, it was fortunate that it had not simply scattered as a result. It paused for an instant before it emitted a shu sound. It then transformed into a ray of light that charged toward the thunderclouds in the sky. Seeing this, the long-eyebrowed elder immediately quivered. He hurriedly changed his hand seal, and a couple of enormous lightning pillars immediately shot out from the thunderclouds. Their target was the fire lotus. Bang! The lightning pillars ruthlessly attacked the fire lotus, but they did not cause it to pause even a little as three colored fire seedlings rose out. These fire seedlings might appear to be the size of a finger, but they instantly vaporized the lightning pillars into nothingness upon contact. This scene caused everyone to tremble in fear. The lightning pillars did not stop the attack of the fire lotus. While the fire seedling rose, the light ray that was formed by the fire lotus charged into the thunder clouds. Heaven Hall, Scatter Formation. The eyes of the long-eyebrowed elder immediately shrank to the size of a pinhole upon seeing the fire lotus barging into the thunder cloud. A horrified loud cry rumbled. However, before the wind lightning northern pavilion's experts at the exterior of the formation could recover from his cry, the interior of the thunder cloud emitted a soul-stirring explosion that resounded over the place. Immediately, an enormous fire wave surged out in an untamed floodwater-like manner. The thunder cloud endured for an instant in the face of the attack from the enormous fire wave before it burst apart, transforming into clusters of tiny electric glows as it did so. The thunder cloud was created by the experts from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion and the Three Elders. Hence, they were naturally implicated now that it had been destroyed. Immediately, the thunderbolt curtain that spread all over the place disappeared. Numerous grug sounds of blood being spat out repeatedly resounded over Bay City. Some of the people standing on the buildings fell down head first. The people within Bay City involuntarily wiped off their cold sweat when they heard the sound of blood being vomited from all directions. That majestic storm had also been vaporized by the fire wave in the sky. The stormy weather from earlier had turned into one with clear skies that stretched for thousands of kilometers. Even the joint effort of the three elders from the Wind Lightning Pavilion and the use of the Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation cannot trap him. This Xiao Yan is really too terrifying. After fighting the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion's three elders and the many experts by himself, it is likely that Xiao Yan's name will spread over the entire northern region within a short couple of days. Ha ha, it is really joyous. I have not wasted a trip this time around. This big battle is the most intense one that I have seen in my life. It is likely that Xiao Yan could hardly find an opponent among the younger generation. It is rumored that the Wind Lightning Pavilion has a certain Feng Young miss. 
Her training talent is considered extremely outstanding and is the choice as the next Eastern Pavilion head. I wonder if she will be able to fight against Xiao Yan? The bodies of the long-eyebrowed elder and the two others in the sky stilled momentarily while the entire city emitted numerous private conversations. Their faces had finally turned pale white while their breathing had become sluggish. The forceful scattering of the thunder cloud was very harmful to them. Retreat. The hand of the long-eyebrowed old man trembled slightly. A moment later, he finally clenched his teeth and softly spoke a word. Since you have forced me out, you cannot expect me to simply leave empty-handed after exhausting a great amount of strength to engage in a big fight with you. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. His eyes congelated and a majestic spiritual strength immediately surged out in all directions. Immediately, it penetrated space and violently pressed on the three elders whose auras were sluggish. Grug. The three elders' bodies were already weary. Upon suffering such a heavy blow, a mouthful of fresh blood was immediately spat out of their mouths. Their bodies flew back like cannonballs. When they were forced back, the rings they wore on their fingers slipped off. After which, these rings were grabbed by Xiao Yan's spiritual strength before flying back to him. Elder Feng immediately became furious upon seeing that their storage rings had been stolen. He was just about to cry out furiously when the gloomy long-eyebrowed elder stopped him. Let's leave first. With a stern cry, the long-eyebrowed elder and the other two unleashed their remaining Du Qi. Lightning glows surged, and the three of them turned into three rays of light that rushed out of Tianbei City in a lightning-like manner. After which, they disappeared into the horizon. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand after seeing the three elders fleeing into the distance. He held the three storage rings in his hand. It was not that he did not intend to kill all of them, but these three stuck together like chewing gum. If he were to really force them until that stage, it was likely that Xiao Yan would lose more than he gained. He was able to defeat the three of them, but killing them would require him to pay quite a terrible price. Xiao Yan glanced at the storage rings. His finger rubbed over them. Borrowing Tian Ho's Unji majestic spiritual strength, he was able to easily remove the spiritual imprints on them. Xiao Yan's spirit swiftly invaded the rings after having removed the imprint. After a search, three bright silver-colored scrolls flashed and appeared in his hand. They were indeed with these three old fellows. These three silver-colored scrolls were similar to the one he had obtained from Chen Yun. Even the blood veins on its surface were exactly the same. Clearly, these three scrolls should be part of the 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. However, he did not know whether he would be able to obtain a complete version of them after including the scroll already in his hands. Xiao Yan could not help but feel a little anxious after thinking until this point. Of course, he would naturally not test it in this kind of situation. He flipped his hand and stored the three scrolls into his storage ring. Immediately, his dark eyes slowly turned to Hong Yan Xiao, who was still entangled with the Earth Demon puppet. The killing intent within Xiao Yan's heart was even more intense when it came to this old man. He knew that the news of Chen Yun dying to his hands had been spread by this fellow. The information that the people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion had on him should have also been revealed by this old man. It might not be possible to kill the three elders today, but this Hong Yan Xiao needed to die. Hong Yan Xiao, who was fighting with the Earth Demon Puppet in the distance, had naturally also sensed that the three elders had fled after being defeated. His expression immediately became extremely ugly. These three old bastards. Hong Yan Xiao roared furiously within his heart. He had just forced back the Earth Demon Puppet when he sensed a pair of ice cold eyes that contained a killing intent being shot over from a distance. Hong Yan Xiao's expression instantly became much paler after sensing the density of the killing intent within those eyes. His mouth was filled with bitterness. At this moment, he had finally understood just what kind of frightening existence he had offended this time around. End of chapter.